I say we go ahead and get started with Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. I've been super excited for this game ever since it was announced. And I've been wanting a PlayStation 5 basically since they were announced. And uh, a, a large part of that is because of this game. right? Ratchet and Clank was one of my favorite experiences on the original PlayStation 2. And uh, seeing this one launching with the PS5 is just uh, amazing. The, the gameplay that they showed of it, the switching between worlds, everything just looks super good. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited for it. Yes, because this is not what you thought it was. Twitch, stop it, please. <laughs> what do you think this was, Rue? Do you think it was one of the uh, like PS2, PS3 games or something like that? Let's get into it, shall we? Uh, so we got a couple save slots. Uh, we can upgrade to the Deluxe Edition. We may at some point, but I'm not going to worry about that now. Renegade Legend. Uh, those who wish to battle the most brutal foes in any dimension. We got... For those who seek a greater challenge, requiring faster reflexes against tougher foes, it's kind of hard to see for you guys. Let me, uh, I mean, it looks a little odd over there. There's nowhere to put it. I'm sorry. <laughs> there's, there's nowhere really good to put you guys at the moment. Uh, so these are just the different difficulty levels. So the aggressiveness of the enemies, their damage and health all change. I usually go straight for the hardest level but I, I'll, I'll take it down just uh i'll do normal i guess since i'm going to be playing it on stream i don't want to be getting my my ass kicked too much you were thinking a raccoon thief for some reason i mean you're not that far off <laughs> he's not it's not sly cooper you're thinking of sly cooper but uh sly cooper also a lot of fun don't get me wrong and uh, Ratchet kind of looks like a, a raccoon in some ways, you know? Alright, so we uh, controller settings. Anything we gotta do there? All vibrations are enabled. Feel everything from the wind blowing through your hair to the gravel underneath your feet. Cool. F experimental functional. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. Dude, we'll do experimental. That sounds cool. Midnight mode. Reduce the range between quietest and loudest sound. What? That's cool. That's very cool. Audio output device home theater. Yep, it's grabbing that from the other settings. Subtitles on all the time. Standards fine. All the colors are fine. Accessibility settings. Uh, can we... Camera follow default. Directional button. No. Okay, I don't think we need to change any of that. Speed running settings? What? That's cool. Weapon wheel pause, level up, slow down, weapon level up, pop ups. That's awesome, man. That that's turned that that's uh, available in the game. Performance, performance RT. This is 60 frames per second mode, which includes ray tracing. It presents a presents a lower resolution picture with adjusted lighting, visual effects, and scene density. I'm only playing at 1080p because the my gaming monitor is only 1080p, so that's probably fine to be honest. Uh, additionally, removing ray tracing in favor of increased picture resolution. We're fine without it. We can't play at 4K anyways right now, so performance ray tracing it is. Invert up and down is turned on, because on the PlayStation 5, that's right, I forgot, you can tell it if you uh, prefer to have inverted or not, and then the games can just look at the PlayStation 5 setting for that, which is really cool. Oh yeah, and yeah, he really does, yeah. Hopefully Sly and Jack get a new one on PS5 also. Let's hope, man. We can dream. That's super cool. It is. It really is. <laughs> of the oh, it's beautiful. To your nearest intake facility immediately. We promise nothing nefarious will befall you. We promise. This looks like watching an animated movie, you know? It's amazing. Is it fun though? Like <laughs> your suit seems to be working nicely. Blending right in. There is the assistant, and there is the info bot. Masterful work. Now get out of there and decrypt that. Where is the info bot? 
Man. I'm sorry, I'm just enjoying the cutscene right now. Like, it just, it looks so good. I'm hoping this is all rendered in real time. I don't know if it is or not, but I'm hoping it is. Hey, Mr. Noodle with the five bitch here. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, this isn't Sly, or Sly Cooper. <laughs> this isn't uh, Ratchet and Clank. This is the, the lady one, isn't it? That we saw in the trailer. It's okay. Yeah. Just me. Rivet, okay. Rivet? Shh. Gotta go. Here, it'll help you get home. I designed it to be one size fits all, so it should. Thank you. It's hammer time. <laughs> Bro, this game looks so good. I feel like any moment we're just gonna be in the action. Ah, Ratchet. Okay. I thought I thought it was gonna put us in the game. For us? I mean, we haven't done anything heroic in years. What if everyone thinks we're washed up? Oh, what if we are washed up? Luckily, we will not need to perform any heroics, <laughs> unless you count smiling and waving. Right. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Now we're going to take control, right? Give, Give it to us. Welcome to the Grand Marshals of our parade. Ratchet and Clay. Everybody clap. Heck yeah. That's us. We're amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Look at it. It looks like you're playing in a cutscene. You can see all the little hairs on him and everything. Wow. I haven't seen these guys in ages. Ah, uh, the mouth is moving while wow, the game's playing, not just in cutscenes. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Hey, oh, cool. We got our we got our glide ability and everything already. I wonder if we're going to be able to keep these abilities. These are all abilities that you normally have to to gain in the other games. Very cool. Oh man, I'm so excited. Yes. Folks, we have a momentous day in store for you. Starting with me. <laughs> oh lord, I hate Captain Quark. Surprise gift from Clank to Ratchet. Oh dear. Must he tell the entire galaxy? Wait, a gift? For what? Oh, you will see. It is awaiting us at the front of the parade route. Well, we better get moving then. It all started on Planet Bell with Ratchet, a restless tinker. I don't trust this gift. <laughs> I trust Clank, right? I'm a, I'm a little weary about about Captain Quark and the rest of them, but I, I trust Clank. So whatever whatever he has planned for me here, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> oh, I think uh. Again, with this game, let me know if anything ends up being in the way. I will move elements on the uh, screen if needed. I want to remove that for my personal view. Leave it up on the stream, though. There we are. All right. Man, it just—it looks so good. I was just telling a buddy of mine the other day that like. One of the reasons why I used to really like playing on PC so much was because games could just look so much better on PC. Right, if you cranked up all the settings and whatnot, they just looked amazing compared to console. And like, consoles didn't look bad, don't get me wrong, but they just looked so much better. But honestly, at this point, the, the modern consoles look so good that as long as you don't mind playing on controller, I don't really see a whole lot of benefit of playing on PC besides the extended mod ability. Obviously, if you really like mods and whatnot, then it's totally worth it, but... It's just so pretty, man. Very cool. Just 
short little tutorial on uh, all the controls. It's been a little while since I played the game, so I, I, I do actually appreciate it. We played the first Ratchet & Clank on PS2 not too long ago, but... Smash ammo crates to refill your ammo. Yep. R2 to shoot Blarg ships. Ooh, the adaptive triggers. It actually, like, pulses with each shot. Is it a reenactment, or are we just gonna have to... No, I don't think it is either. <laughs> uh, explosives? Yeah. I want to shoot somebody. I like that we can zoom in a little bit. Very cool. Man, I just want to explore. Everything looks so good. I just want to look at everything and explore everything and see everything. Like... <laughs> oh. Okay. Got a little blown up. Oh, we can also grind. We must get to the front of the parade route. Uh, X to jump on hazards. Can I just break it though? They're balloons. Like, they're not really hazards. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. The world suddenly is upside down. Excellent. Uh, it feels so good because the the trigger PlayStation Five has adaptive triggers. So as you're uh, as you're holding the trigger down with every shot, the trigger actually pulses, so you can like almost feel the gun moving. It's really cool. It's a neat effect. Oh, little jumpy pads here. Got it. Can review our objective. I think we're okay. Okay. So just, just a little explosion there, no problem. Some Robo Mutts. Man, I need to play. I haven't played a uh, Ratchet and Clank. I haven't played the last couple Ratchet and Clank games, is what I meant to say. I really only played the ones for PS2 and then the, uh, the HD-ified version of the first game on PS2. Three. And I'm not sure because they changed the lore of the games around a little bit whenever they did the movies and whatnot. So I'm wondering if this is maybe following the ward the lore of the reboot, not of the original games. I'm not positive, but I think that might be what it's doing. So I'm guessing that's a health thing, because that looks kind of like a fancier version of the health pickup that you get in the first game. All of these, uh, things that we're picking up for blowing up barrels is, uh, they're, they're your currency, right? They're, uh, whatchamacallits. Nuts and bolts. They're nuts and bolts, and you pick those up as, as money. I ain't worried about y'all. Y'all too easy. Okay, yeah, I need to uh, move everything down a little bit, I think. Because it looks like the stream boss is getting in the way of the health bar just a little bit. So let me uh, unlock that. Let me move you down to like there, maybe. And then move the Twitch chat down with it. Maybe that'll be better. Yeah, that's that's not covering anything of import now. Uh, hello. I don't appreciate y'all shooting at me like this. Very cool. Where'd they go? Can I shoot it? Pick up all the nuts and bolts, because you can buy, like, usually in other Ratchet and Clank games, you can buy all kinds of cool weapons. Um, I say cool. Some of them are just absolutely ridiculous, and that's part of the fun. Like, weapons that turn people into sheeps. Or little, uh, little robots that just swarm enemies. And, uh, as they do so, or, like, once they get all around them, they just blow up in massive explosions. Uh, sucking cannons. Like, all kinds of just ridiculous things, right? The whole game is just meant to be over the top. It's great. Uh, 
I don't know how many shots this dude can take. He's almost dead. I think we got it. We got it. Oh, we can keep shooting while jumping? That's cool. I like that. Deaded. Too easy. Look how pretty it is. But not the last. Oh, maybe. I had a speech prepared, but considering that our event seems to be under assault, I will cut to the chase. Ratchet, I do not know where I would be without you. You are my closest friend. Is he gonna propose? My teammate. <laughs> and you have given up a lot to... I have repaired the Dimensionator, so you what? can go through dimensions and find your family. No, oh, pal, I... What? I guess that's what the bad guys were uh, looking for there, huh? What a wonderful surprise! I didn't expect to see you here. Considering my drones were meant to annihilate you eight minutes ago. You should know by now. They ain't got nothing on us. <laughs> nice little self burn there. Video game is not coming with manuals anymore. So yeah, so that's why this game is called Rift Apart because you can hop between dimensions. And one of the one of the things with this game that they really showed off in all the marketing materials, if anybody didn't see it, is the how quickly you can hop between different dimensions with uh, next to no loading times and things like that. Meant to kind of show off the, the loading power of the PS5 and blah, blah, blah. Whatever. That looks cool to me, don't get me wrong, but what I'm more excited for is just for a, a new AAA Ratchet and Clank game. Like a completely new one. So are we supposed to... How? <laughs> Oh, there's a there's a cable. Okay, we got this. Uh, yeah. Can we can we switch rails? <laughs> that, that didn't look like a fun time over there. Okay. Oh nope. It's okay. We're fine. Everything's fine. No worries. <laughs> okay, wasn't there wasn't there something over here? This is probably just some ammo. Yeah, burst ammo. Smash it. <laughs> just shoot him with a bunch of glitter bombs. That'll work. Ah, oh, no, dude. would try something like this don't beat yourself up this will be just like old times come on it looks like nefarious landed somewhere near the train station Go i honestly wish i knew but i'm not sure we should grab a weapon said i'm not 100 percent positive but i think this is a different lore than what i know from the first couple of games use bullets to buy weapons yep welcome to mr cons the one-stop shop to power up your arsenal Use L to compare weapons and press square to watch a preview. Hey, you know what is better than watching explosives? What? Throwing them with your bare freaking <laughs> Yes. You got it. So how, how much money do we have? 2068. I really like the Shatterbomb one. I've always been a big fan of that. Pull the fire trigger halfway to shoot one barrel. 
Pull both to do all. I gotcha. Very cool. Okay, yeah, Shatterbomb. <laughs> That's what we want. Shatterbomb. Very cool. You think you found your soulmate? Explosives. Yes. Come on, drop him down. I'm gonna blow him up. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, man, and the purple too. Purple's my favorite color. So having them blow up in purple, that's just perfect. It looks so good. It's ridiculous how good the game looks. <laughs> okay, I might have blown myself up a little bit there too, but worth it. Where's the rest of the goons at? There he is. Oh. Okay. Should probably be a little more careful. We don't wanna we don't wanna die here. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. There's gotta be, yeah, stuff for us to pick up. Shatter bomb, some health. What else do we got? What else do we got? Well that's the the lady. The robot. Do we have there's our quick menu, that's good. Okay, that's resume. There's a photo mode? Bro, that's awesome. Here's our map. Oh, we got armor and stuff. As you explore the planet, collectibles and other points of interest will be revealed on your map. Highlight an icon and press X to pin in the HUD. Ah, oh, man. There, okay, there's all kinds of stuff now. This is a uh, much larger, still very similar, but much larger than the old games I played on the PS2. Holy crap, okay. Can we actually like look at these models? That's cool, we can. Zoom in, zoom out. Yeah, yeah, looking good, nefarious. <laughs> okay, I was just trying to figure out how much. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I guess I'm. I guess I'm saving that. I was trying to figure out how much money I had. One thousand two hundred fifty-seven. Okay, it looks like it popped up in the bottom right-hand corner there. Perfect. Let's uh, let's go and see if we can buy the other thing now. I think we have enough. Wasn't it twelve hundred? Maybe twelve hundred and fifty triangle uh now in stock yeah 1250 perfect let's buy that too we want all the weapons so half r2 is single barrel shot full is double barrel nice i mean shotguns are always nice too and then we should be able to switch quickly with that yeah i should probably try not to shoot civilians that's probably for the best actually um wouldn't be a very good hero doing that can i just throw explosives at him maybe you should let somebody who knows what they're doing run that thing eh <laughs> what did you do? Oops. I think we may have broke the dimensionator again. Oh no. Oh, that's how all the portals got opened up all over the place. Bruh, was that a dinosaur? We may have a slight problem. The bridge is shot. There has to be another way across. Hmm. The rifts are reacting to the face quartz in your glove. Try pointing it at one of them. So does it matter which one? Oh, well, that one disappeared. So I guess it has to be that one. Okay, short. Sure. Oh, wait, no, that one's open again. Oh, no, okay, we can't. That's cool. That was rather exciting. That's a cool way to hop around. <laughs> Who wants to take time and just uh, slowly jump from place to place when you can just freaking teleport yourself there, man? That's sick. And then I can I go back? That's cool. I like that. That looks that's just a really neat effect. I don't think that's not something they could have done on the PS4 or the Xbox or anything like that, but it looks really cool nonetheless. Just need to cut through the station and catch up to the ferry. Very cool. Oh, and that should make getting around so much easier. Collect rare tanium to upgrade weapons at vendor stalls. Okay. We can do that. Is he, is he paying them at all is the real question. 
Nefarious doesn't seem like the, the type to support a working wage. Uh, switch weapons. Shatterbomb. <laughs> Sorry, doggy. <laughs> Dunzoed. Uh, where is the big guys? There you go. Yeah, sorry, you're dead. My apologies. Not really sorry, but, you know. Okay, where are we going over here? Uh-oh. What are you uh-oh in, Rue? Oh, can we go down? No, I don't think we're meant to go down. <laughs> There's got to be a rift somewhere, right? I'm missing a rift. I'm just being dumb. Oh, or we can just go through the door <laughs> that freaking... I almost called them dragons. Dinosaurs are flying through. What? What are these plants? Everything is falling apart. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That's uh-oh-able. That's, <laughs> that's very uh-oh-able. <laughs> Man, it looks so cool, though. With all the, the crap and, like, changing between different kinds of worlds. Hold, yeah, I know how to select the weapons. Because in the, the original Ratchet and Clank games, what you would do is you would switch between different worlds in your spaceship, right? You would fly from world to world. But I guess the Dimensionator is just making them uh, all kind of meld together here. So you're getting elements from all of them kind of switching back and forth. Very cool. Uh, okay, yeah, we can use a little bit of health. Can we break anything? We can. Well, I guess not anything, but a lot of stuff. A Kraken? What? Bro, let me fight the Kraken. Why do I get over there? Can I get over there? It doesn't look like it. Oh, I want to fight the... Oh, we can. Hold on. Can I go in here? Let me fight it. Trash. I want to fight the Kraken. Oh, hello. <laughs> or a very large octopus. Yeah, one or the other. Whichever one it is. The dinos will show the way. Hey, uh, when did you rebuild the Dimensionator? Yes, Clank. And I know that finding the Lombaxes has always been important to you. I thought perhaps we could go together. Wow, that's really thoughtful. But I... Uh, why don't we get it back? Why is he so hesitant? First? I'm sure there's a reason, like in the last couple of Ratchet and Clank games or something. I'm sure they talk about some reason why he would be so uh, hesitant to, to find his long-lost family. But I don't know what it is. And it's going to bother the crap out of me. Can we break these random plants? We can. Ratchet, be grateful. Come on, man. Your best friend in the whole wide world just fixed that thing for you. Just say thank you. <laughs> That's all you need to do. Just say thanks, man. Okay, so I think this was just an extra little area. I don't think we really needed to go up here. Yes, please. Is there another one? There is. Bro, that is so cool. I'm like, I'm running out of things to say. I don't really know what to say, because this is just... I am like, uh, awestruck, right? It just, it looks so good. And it feels really good, too. Like, I don't know for sure if it's running at 60 FPS, but I feel like it's running pretty close. Now, granted, again, I am running it at... 1080p. I, I don't have HDR or 4K enabled or anything like that. Um, so the game would probably look even better then. But I don't know if it would run this good. This wasn't in the contract. He was just talking to Nefarious. Okay, let's try the shotgun. Oh, yep, yeah, that works. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you're dead. <laughs> oh, you're not? What? I guess it takes a second to shoot both shots. Even if you pull, like, a full trigger, it still takes a moment, it feels like. Okay, looks like we can go over there and do something, but, uh, what's in here? Just, just stuff. Just, just 
we can just wreck somebody's office. Hopefully this is some like financial advisor's place or something. Or not like a financial advisor, but like a, uh, I don't know, a loan office or something. Just destroy everybody's records of their loans. Right. Good guy, Ratchet. Honestly, who can even afford 4K on a retail or college work study salary? Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> like, I do have a 4K TV. I, I've been pretty lucky. But, um, I'm playing on a gaming monitor since I'm doing the whole streaming thing. And, yeah, I, I've looked at decent 4K gaming monitors, and they are just, uh, way out of my budget at the moment, sadly. I'm going to attempt one of these days to get a 1440p, so like a, a halfway in between gaming monitor. But even then it's like, uh, the, the PlayStation 5 doesn't support 1440p. So as much as I want to, it's not like a high priority cause, because I wouldn't be able to play the PlayStation 5 in that uh, resolution anyways. I can I can play PC games at that resolution in that case, but you know. Ooh, yes, teleport around mid fight. I like it. Get us close to the guys, so we can just kick their freaking ass, man. Come on. Love it. Get up there, smack him with the wrench. Yeah, <laughs> with the wrench. <laughs> Uh, okay, we leveled up. We got more health now, it looks like we did. Yeah, our health doubled. No crap, okay. So I feel like this game is going to be more forgiving than the original, because in the original, either that or it's just much harder. It's in the original, I don't remember getting really any uh, health upgrades. But of course, this one seems much more focused on the, the shooting and other people shooting at you and whatnot. So... I can see us taking more hits because of that, too. But there's also health everywhere in this game, so I don't know. We'll see how the difficulty balances out. What's that is my only actual TV that you own is 19 inches. You're borrowing a 26 inch from your grandmother. She says you can have it, but you feel bad enough that you took it from her. Ah, that's sweet of you, but I'm sure she doesn't really care if you, uh, if you were to take it and use it. Or keep it, I guess. You're already using it, but... Oh, that's cool. All of the uh, concrete here can be damaged as well. Very cool. All right. now let's get to nefarious. I remember the college years, though. I, I definitely remember my college years, man. <laughs> Money was tight. And then the years of paying it back didn't make it, uh, didn't make it much better, you know? <laughs> Press LXX. Okay, so we can jump over the lasers is what it's trying to tell us. Okay, we should probably jump a little bit sooner than that, maybe. <laughs> Find some ammo crates. Okay, that felt like there may have been a tiny bit of slowdown there, but you know what? It wasn't that bad. And this is, a, I feel like, a big spectacle fight, too, you know? Where they're trying to show off the game right in the beginning. By having everything be as detailed as possible. Why is he such an egghead? He's not Dr. Robotnik. <laughs> uh. Okay, so we're out of ammo for this. Can we use the... Uh... Shoot him with the... The... the uh... Oh, no. I can't remember words. The shotgun. <laughs> okay, maybe we should use the... The regular gun, I feel like. The shotgun, he's a little too far away for that. We need to get uh, more of the ammo for the the bombs. That was weakening his shields great. We have plenty of health though. Like we are we're in no real uh, danger right now. Amiiboids? Yeah. So these creatures are all like uh, from different games and planets that we've adventured through previously in the series. <laughs> <laughs> Probably around 80. Uh, <laughs> Will it be the last time, though? Will it really? For some reason, I doubt it. First pistol out of ammo. What? 
Uh, it looks like it's still got a lot of ammo to me, man. Uh, okay, well, we took it. We took we took a few hits. We actually got a little close there, but we're okay. Good to see I'm still alive. You too, Doorsman. You too. This isn't a cutscene, by the way. I mean, technically, this is a cutscene, but that was just the game. You see that, Dorseman? Look at that. Look how amazing that is. And us switching between these worlds. What? Look at this, man. This is amazing. See, a tiny bit of stutter there, but, like, still. Like it just loads in between them instantly. We teleportation. That is stunning. You're not kidding, man. This is probably the most beautiful game I've ever seen. All the colors. It's so vibrant. How different everything is, too. Like, everything is unique looking. Oh, man. We teleportation. No kidding. Oh, my lord. I'm blown away, like, honest to goodness, blown away here. The 12 hours is going great. What's with all the neon? This is the part where you lose. Yeah, nefarious, you jerk. Ratchet, the dimension ate her. Uh oh. This doesn't look good. Oops. Whoa. Okay. That's a big explosion for a little gun. Ratchet? Oh dear. My arm. Yeah. Oh. And no. The dimensionator. It What have I done? It's okay, it's not the first place time Clank's lost a couple body parts. Someone with a lot of questions. Let's go for a ride. Yeah. Wait, I have to find my friend. Cool, cool. <laughs> he found the dimension he wanted. Good for him. It is not a remaster. Nope. There was a remaster at one point, and I think it's following that lore. Not the original, but... You have returned early from your conquest. Yes. Emperor! You know, this is a brand new original game, made only for PS5. Ratchet and Clank ripped apart, man. Intro sequence done. Are we gonna play as, uh, what was her name? Rivet now, I wonder? Since she stole Clank from us? Uh, maybe that's how they explain us not having all the movement abilities and everything we normally have. The Wombats? What is this place? There's a movie too, Rue, if you didn't know. They did a uh, movie retelling the lore of the first game. And then they uh and then they made a game based on the the movie, and that's the, what the remaster is. <laughs> It's all a little convoluted, to be honest, but it's fun. Yeah, the movie is not bad. It's not my favorite or anything, but as far as video games, video game films go, it's pretty decent. Um, and then, yeah, I know you have a lot of love for the PS2. There's three, maybe four PS2 games in the series. And uh, the first of them is excellent. The second and third are also very good. Green eyes, red 
highly suggest them. There was also a lot of downloadable titles for the PS3, but those ones I never played, so I don't really have any uh, opinion on them, I guess. <laughs> I like the little face on the robot when we hit it. That's cute. Hey, Mr. Doodle for the five bits. Thank you so much, love. More for the collection? Exactly. I wish I still had them from when I was a kid, because I had most of these games when I was younger on the PS2, but I uh, do not anymore. I have the first one, of course, but not uh, not anymore. I will be getting them, though, hopefully relatively soon. Best video game movie is Super Mario Bros. 1993. Uh, so I'm sorry to like tell Jonathan uh, the Dorse Man secrets there. Um, he has a bit of a problem. I don't, I don't want to get into any specifics, but sometimes he, uh, he does some things that cloud his judgment, and then uh, he, he just says absolutely ridiculous things on the internet, so just don't mind him. <laughs> Anything he says, just take it with a grain of salt. Especially his movie suggestions. Even his video game suggestions sometimes are a little, uh, mm. Mm. <laughs> Sonic is top and Ratchet number two out of recent video game movies. Agree, probably. What are other recent video game movies, though? Does that mean there are two nefariouses now? Because I can only think off the top of my head of recent ones. Mortal Kombat to a certain degree, I guess. Then you have... Um, Ratchet and Clank, which was pretty decent for video game movies. And then Sonic. Sonic was actually pretty good. Uh, hands down, like it was pretty good. Uncharted, that's not out yet though, is it? Is the Uncharted movie out? Thirstiest time of the year is a great game. For a completely free experience, I'm not complaining about Thirstiest time of the year. It's a free game. Why would I complain about it, you know? And I, it wasn't so bad that it made me angry either. So, you know. <laughs> oh man, it's really hard to see the text whenever I'm on the, the pause menu there. The new Resident Evil just came out. I do want to see that. I read a... Uh, a review about it though saying that it was pretty good but how they're worried that the expectations set from the original films is going to ruin the reception of the uh of the new film the one that's actually based off of the video game lore also we're dead which i totally see what they're saying because moviegoers are probably going to be expecting it to be like you know the original resident evil franchise where it has nothing really to do with the games um, it's its own unique thing, and sadly, that is not at all what they're they're going to get. But I think, personally, being a video game fan, I will probably prefer the uh, the new ones. Mortal Kombat, new RE. Yeah, yeah, I remember Mortal Kombat, but I haven't seen it, so I can't have much of an opinion on it. I think there was another one. Maybe, but I don't know. Those movies sucked. You mean the original Resident Evil movies? Yeah, I mean... They weren't terrible, in my opinion. They just weren't the games, is the problem with them, you know? Like, they were okay, but if you're a fan of the games and the story of the games, then it's not what you're gonna... It's not what you're looking for, you know? It's its own thing. Wait a second. You forgot your order. Well, come right in. Miss Zircon will sell you weapons, but you gotta be less conspicuous. I think you, you're mixing me up with someone. Oh, I think we found Clank. <laughs> so Doris Man, in all honesty, what do you think is the, the best video game movie you've ever seen? Because I do not believe you actually think it's Super Mario Brothers 1993. Club Nefarious, got it. Oh, and nice work, Secret Agent Zircon. Oh, this is so exciting! <laughs> What's Club Nefarious gonna sound like? 
Oh, I can hear it. It's bassy. That's what it sounds like. Can we actually buy stuff from you? Do we have any new? Mr. Fun Guy preview. Let's see what this is. Wait, what? Is it telling jokes so bad it's causing damage? <laughs> this is just ridiculous. Heard it's better than OG Mortal Kombat's, but don't think it'll top Sonic for me. Same. I've heard the exact same thing, but Sonic is good, man. Sonic is very good as far as video game movies go, at least. So we can refill our health and ammo for very little money, or buy the Mr. Fun Guy. And yeah, we're gonna buy the Mr. Fun Guy. Get all the weapons, please. Half throw arc, full throw arc. So it works just like the... Just like the bombs. Gotcha. I, I want to explore everything. What's over here? What's over there? There's so much character, man. Can we go through here? Nope. <laughs> Anybody want a uh, Dr. Nefarious or Emperor Nefarious freaking statuette for outside their home? It's weather resistant. Show your love for your forced emperor your, your dictator i don't know whatever uh for some reason this is making me think of if anybody oh the pokemon movie man pokemon detective pikachu it's not directly based off the games but you know anyways the the club thing was making me think of it because detective pikachu you have the uh are they the exploud exout uh, i forget which creatures you have exactly but uh there's a club that they go to and then uh Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Anyways, and then outside of it, the X-Plowed are just blasting base. How do I, I... I've already forgotten how to... How to throw stuff. Ooh. Okay, so that pings our objective? That's neat, I guess. This is our map. How do we throw our ratchet? There it is. Okay, so it's L2 and then square. Got it. I will surely forget that in a moment's notice. It'd be awesome if they did Ratchet live action and gave it that kind of attention. I don't know, honestly, if I agree with that. I feel like Ratchet live action would be really weird. It, it's v very hard, I feel, to take cartoony characters like this and turn them into characters that fit well in a live action world, you know? Pokemon did it surprisingly well in my opinion and they were able to keep the cuteness factor of a lot of the characters Which is hard to do, but you remember the backlash surely that they got for Sonic whenever the first screens came out of it and then they had to redo the whole thing like I feel like that's probably what would end up happening with with Ratchet and Clank, you know I, I, I Just wonder if they would actually be able to mesh it in such a way that it that it looks good and that it holds up. I'm gonna say Silent Hill, both in terms of faithful adaptation and quality of movie. I thought Silent Hill was separate. Isn't the story of Silent Hill one different than the movie? Or I'm sorry, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Silent Hill one different than the movie. I could be mistaken. It's been a long time since I've either seen the movie or played Silent Hill uh, one, but I thought they were actually different. Ooh, did I just find a new place to go to? More than lint. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is so cool. We can just hop into another level like this. This makes me think of the, uh, the, the Mario 60, or Super Mario Sunshine levels, where you, you find the secret areas that you can go to and do different like platforming challenges and whatnot, but instead of a loading zone, you just instantly load into it. So cool. Detective Pikachu also had some hecking awesome looking Charizards and other bigger Pokemon. They did a very good job with all of them in my opinion. The only one I was let down with at all I feel like was uh, Snorlax. And even then, Snorlax looks amazing. 
don't get me wrong, it's just Snorlax is my favorite Pokemon, and it wasn't as cuddly as I wanted it to be. <laughs> but Bulbasaur, I now have a newfound love for Bulbasaur. I never hated Bulbasaur, but after seeing that movie, Bulbasaur is like one of my favorite Pokemon now, because it's just so freaking cute, man, in that movie, you know? Let's change to the, to the gun here. God, shooting with a PS5 stick feels so good. I love the the rumble because they can use since they can make the the difficulty of pulling the trigger harder or easier, they can also make it vibrate back and forth by making it like he easier and harder. Basically pushing up on it, they can make the uh, the triggers themselves vibrate too, which is really it's just a really neat effect. Only a little, it borrows from the first three, but the story structure largely follows the first game. Ah, okay. They said, it feels difficult, and with the right crew, you think it'd be nice. That's what you meant attention-wise. Yeah, I, I, I think it's possible to do, don't get me wrong. I just think it would be very hard. And I, uh, I don't know if I put that much faith in any movie studio. Silent Hill was amazing, but also caused you to now have a fight-or-flight response whenever you hear sirens. <laughs> Fair. Fair, yep, that's a uh, <laughs> a decent reaction. They really made Mr. Mime creepy, though. I mean, Mr. Mime's pretty creepy in general, in my opinion. <laughs> like, Mr. Mime's just a creepy, creepy dude. You agree about Bulbasaur? Yeah, dude, it's the cutest freaking thing ever. What do we get? A new, ah, oh, a new disguise for our helmet or whatever. Okay, very cool. Uh, Can we do anything with that box? Nope. Oh, we can dent the crap out of it. Okay, I guess that's uh that's all we were doing here. Can we get over there? I don't know if we can go that far over there. Ah, there we go. Not used to have to look for portals to teleport to, you know? I'm used to trying to find uh platforms to jump to. Can we can we glide that far? I don't know if we can glide that far without Ratchet or without Clank. I mean, yeah. Okay, never mind. That wasn't that wasn't nearly that as bad as I thought it was gonna be. And then we just hop on through like nothing ever happened. Perfect. <laughs> can we break the TV? No. It's trash. All right, we'll go to Club Nefarious now. You can stop yelling at us. Oh man, has it really been almost an hour? Holy crap. Okay. Yep, I didn't realize how long it's been. Let's take a uh let's take a short break, shall we? I'm going to uh I'm gonna leave the game here. So nobody's gonna miss anything. Um but I'm gonna take a short break, turn off the pre-rolls, stretch, and then we'll just uh, BS for a minute while the uh while the ad plays. And then we'll come right back to the game. I am having a ton of fun with it. Why do we have oh, to buy all brave faces? All right, what has everybody else been saying? Uh, oh, only one new message. They said, yeah, you watched Silent Hill while you were younger. Now you're prepared to fight Pyramid Head or die when you hear the emergency siren. That's brutal, man. I watched it. Glue. I don't remember. I was probably a, a mid-teen, younger teen. I'm not sure. Looks like the yeah, Seamless that's, Nether that's Portals mod on Minecraft. Too, yeah, like kinda. Kinda. Like, it still was fun, but I, I definitely preferred one, though. And then, like I said, I in many ways, yeah. I playing three at all. Played a little bit. They had that race. Turn that down a little bit. A little bit easier to, uh, not trying to talk over myself in a previous video. Combat racing or something, whatever the heck it was called. If I ever get into playing Minecraft again, that's one that I need to, uh, one mod that I definitely want the seamless nether portals. Bro, what do you think's gonna happen? I remember watching some videos like Mumbo and other people messing around with that, and it just it looks so much fun. I think a Huffalump's gonna fall down and murder us. We're all the stairs. Oh man, okay. Oh, God. How did I not think of that? Of course, it's gonna make the stairs come. Out. I cannot sit and play a game for twelve hours anymore. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. What? Fifteen anymore? I guess, man. Probably doesn't help that I'm in a computer chair too, not like on a couch or something. Yeah, man, we didn't have to worry so much about 
prison escapes or actual tornadoes. Like, people would say that there's tornadoes all the time. But if you look it up, the actual town where, where we live, there's only been, like, one tornado in the past 40 years or something like that. And it only lasted, like, a, a second, if that. Like, it touched down and then instantly disappeared. Extremely rare. But, uh, yeah, for storms and then the possibility of tornadoes is when they go off here. But we're one of those towns where you hear the, the sirens and most people just kind of ignore it because, <laughs> like, they go off all the time and it almost never means anything serious. So, one of these days it's going to mean something serious and nobody's going to pay attention and then be screwed, but, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, thankfully no prison escapes or anything, really, that we got to worry about here. There's... I don't know how far away the closest prison is. It's a it's a decent way though. Sorry, we got him. Look at that. Sure you can. I mean, obviously I can sit here and play games this long. I've done it today. Uh, what ten hours so far? But <laughs> twenty minutes? Yeah. But I mean, yeah. I guess it feels farther away than that. We we're in the the northeastern part of the United States. Uh, some people would call it. Uh, Midwest, I guess. It's the, the greater Appalachian region. We're all spread out a little bit on where exactly we live, um, between a few different states, but yeah, around, around, uh, Erie and whatnot, that area. Your mom used to always tell you about narrowly missing the last tornado when she was a kid. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's, it's extremely rare. It, there has technically been one or two in the past, like, 50 years, 40 years, whatever. But that's it. And they, they only touch down for fractions of a second, at least in our towns, right? If you if you travel, like, a half hour from here, they actually do get tornadoes. Yes, Dorseman, I heard you, 1998. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but there are tornadoes, like, not too far from us that have done some real damage, even recently. Well, actually, I guess the last one I remember was a microburst, not an actual tornado, but still completely destroyed a handful of buildings and whatnot. Um, but yeah, your folks are from Kentucky. Okay, yeah, yeah. So not, not exactly. We're a little more north, but yeah, 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 yeah. The that greater area. Yep. Or I guess like if we got. That's actually. Was it Kentucky? My grandparents were from. I can't remember. I can't remember. But uh, but yeah. Put that stick right on there. Put a tree down right in front of you, huh? <laughs> I uh, I don't remember it at all, to be honest with you. The storm of 1998, apparently. <laughs> I remember there was a huge snowstorm, um, around the the Great Lakes in the early 1990s, but I don't even remember the storm. I just remember hearing a lot of stories about it, that there was, you know like over a foot of snow which for some areas is pretty common but for us that was 2010 no oh wait you mean the the tree going down in front of you was 2010 or what mr noodle uh <laughs> your weird turkey debasted <laughs> oh man all right one last stretch oh a snowstorm in 2010 i don't i mean there were some snowstorms in 2010 maybe but no i'm talking about this one was much worse from what i've been told but i'm weird <laughs> you're weird and i love you anyways i love your weirdness you weirdo <laughs> let's go let's go oof that reminds you of the blizzard that hit kentucky and tennessee hated that you got stuck at your friends that year yeah, no, it's been years. I think it was a little farther out from town when you went through her uncle's yard. Wow. I love you too, Rude. You're rude. <laughs> Coming into my stream and my chat and calling me rude. Imagine. Wow. <laughs> All right. I need to uh, turn my AC down a, a click or two, too. Having the door closed all day is making me warm. And yes, I, I realize it's the middle of winter, and I just mentioned needing to turn on my AC, but <laughs> my my PC and everything throws off a lot of heat. 
Make sure I have it set for reasonable temperature. I don't want to pull it down that much in here. Okay. All right, let me grab a drink and then we're going to hop back into the game. Taking uh, more than a, a minute or two. How would I be if I came down and Bob had eyeballs? I mean, I wouldn't be mad, but like, really? I just, I guess, just disappointed, you know? <laughs> Bob doesn't need eyeballs, love. I mean, if you really want to, you can, though. Like, I ain't going to tell you no. Because I don't really care at the end of the day. <laughs> oh, did you already put eyeballs on Bob, Mr. Noodle? Bob is our robot vacuum, by the way, for anybody out there who might be, uh... I'm pretty sure I was meant to uh, be born in Canada. And they're bigger ones? Oh, joy. Because I, uh, I, I love the... Well, I don't love the, the snow and the ice necessarily, but I prefer the cold greatly to the uh, to the heat, man. Not yet. Hey, good night, Dorseman. Thank you again for the... Uh, not only subscribing yourself, but for all the gift subs that you gave today and just uh, joining us tonight, man. Really appreciate you being here. Winter is normal for me. <laughs> Fighting with Twitch again over there. Oh no. <laughs> oh jeez. Feel a fan in Windows cheap winter AC. Yeah, I mean that's what I should do, but that would require me to take out my fan, or I mean my AC, in the uh, in the winter, and it's much easier to just leave it in. <laughs> it has a fan mode, but it doesn't pull in air from outside, sadly. I wish it had that sort of mode, because that would be more than good enough, right? Just pull in the cool air from outside and blow it in the room. But it doesn't have that function, sadly. Thankfully, it doesn't usually have to run long to cool it down in here in the winter, because, you know, it's freezing outside, literally. It's trying to take me winter camping? Yeah, it's gonna be so much fun. I'm excited for it. I got about a month left, Mr. Noodle. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Dorseman, if you're still around, I forgot about that. Ghost uh, popped in earlier, and uh, he saw that someone had uh, bought him a gift sub, and he said thank you for it. So, this is comedy of the stream, <laughs> you fighting Twitch. We just need to have a, uh, a whole stream of you versus Twitch seeing who wins. Uh, we can't, like, grab on and then wall jump back? No. Okay. Fine, it's worth a shot. A little bit of free ammo. Can we uh, blow that up from over here? I don't know why we want to do that. No, we can't actually shoot through there. Lame. Oh, well. Worth a try. It's going to be fun, Mr. Noodle. And we'll have the car. And I'm even letting you take a heater just in case. Like, Square up, Twitch. <laughs> Need to get you to a ring. Three rounds. I put away my god no burr, burr, burr. <laughs> it'll be okay everything's gonna be great it's gonna be so peaceful with all the snow and we'll be able to go hiking without any plants there won't be any bugs like it's gonna be great Is there a phantom around here? mr phantom where are all the organics also, I think that dude might be glitched a bit out. I don't think that's how he's meant to be dancing. <laughs> I'm, not, hmm. I'm not sure that's right. We'll uh, we'll just we'll just ignore that. Just go this way instead. Pretend pretend we didn't see that. It's fun. Resistance alert! Resistance alert! Just start looking around. Resistance? Where? I don't have a huge problem with bugs myself, to be honest. Skid McMarks is his full name, by the way. <laughs> Skid McMarks, he's a uh, hoverboarder, is what he does. Nah, it's that new dance move. Yeah, something like that. First pistol is leveled up to level three. Very cool. Okay. No bugs in winter canning. Sam, sign me up a hate bug. Yeah, so like like I was saying, I, I don't really mind the bugs that much, to be honest. Obviously, I don't want them to be like uh, all over me. But like if one of them gets on me accidentally or whatever, I'm not the type to freak out. 
we go we go hiking and when we go hiking like i've had spiders uh because spiders like to build webs between trees and we're dead um <laughs> spiders like to build webs between trees it's just what they do and uh so i've walked through them a couple times and accidentally got them on me and whatnot and like it's fine you know i'm not trying to get them to crawl all over me but it happens but Mr. Noodle, on the other hand, yeah, she uh, she despises bugs of all kinds. Who says I want to join the resistance? Maybe I just want to get back to my home world. Can I do that? Very cool. Burn all spiders with fire? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, they're not that bad. Come on. Some of them are cute, like uh, jumping spiders, for instance. They're not venomous towards humans or anything like that. And they, they act like little cats or dogs. They're pretty cute. Some of them will dance around for you. Like, they're nice. They're nice. Yeah, Mr. Noodle, that's like her dream, is a, a Maine Coon uh, cat. Cause she, she absolutely loves cats. I like cats as well. We have a couple of them. But uh, her, her dream is to get a Maine Coon someday. And I have pretty much promised at this point that I'll get her one someday. We're waiting, though, Mr. Noodle. <laughs> Before we get one. But someday, we'll have a, a, a fluffy Maine Coon. And she says little. I don't know if you know what a Maine Coon looks like, Rue, or anybody else in chat. But uh, Maine Coons are gigantic. They are not little at all. These things are like the size of a small human. <laughs> like, <laughs> now, it's half fur, but still. No such thing as a cute spider? There definitely is. And there are TikToks out there just full of adorable spiders doing their little dances and crawling around and people giving them voices. And there's the, uh, uh what's the, the, the YouTube series that we watch, Mr. Noodle? Um... Ah, uh, what are they called? Or what's the, 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 the thing called? Oh, uh... Yeah, so... <laughs> uh... I can see where Twitch is coming from here. Yeah, it's because, uh, you said Maine Coon. And the second part of that can be used in a derogatory manner. I'm going to allow it because of the circumstances. But, uh... But, yeah, I'm going to have to keep an eye on that specific term, though. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> that, I, I can see why Twitch could see that as a, uh, a possible problematic term. But in the context, it's fine, obviously. All right, uh, not in our house. Lucas, yes, Lucas is the name of the, the spider. It's a, uh, it's a, a little animated spider that's, that's super adorable. And, uh, even Mr. Noodle likes watching that spider. There's a term like that? Yeah, sadly there is. Again, Maine Coon is just the name of the animal, so, like, that's fine, but, yeah. There is a, a derogatory form of that as well, sadly. What I'll probably end up doing, if I remember, is uh, just disallow the one term. But see if I can allow main coon as like one solid term together. I, uh, I'm not a, too familiar with the, the, the auto mod stuff in Twitch. Some of it's newer. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll figure that out. Anyways, point is, let's get back to uh, the game. All right, so we can we can wall jump up there. I, I see that, but I have to explore, man. There's so many cool things here to look at and do and collect, and I can get all of the nuts and bolts to buy new new weapons of destruction. Oh, that is that was made like super easy. That was basically jumped for me up here. That's okay. I like it. Uh, so that's a jump pad, but 
One of the cool things about us having a wrench as a weapon is it has all of its different uses. So like, you can find things like this and you can attach a wrench to it and spin it around to do stuff, right? <laughs> like, power up this jump pad. Very cool. Very nice. Why is he running from us so much? Oh, maybe. Maybe he's testing us. To see if we're really decent people, we're stuck in a level geometry. That was that was cool. Good job. No need to feel bad, by the way, Rue. You're okay. You didn't say anything wrong. So wait, are these shields just to stop organics from getting through or something? Like, how does that work? So we found like two or three of those shields now, and each one of them has stopped us going through. But all the robots are going through just fine. I'll handle this, Phantom. You'll just get to safety. So the resistance will work. Uh, yeah. Taste my fungi. <laughs> I love it. I love them. They're so ridiculous, man. Just little mushrooms that shoot spores, I guess, at you. And then if you get close enough, they just beat the crap out of you. Wonderful. Uh, shotgun? Also handy. I love how many nuts and bolts they have flying around. It looks so good. All the little particle particles. You're raking in the points at 3.3k? Yeah, being subbed, I'm pretty sure you get a uh, multiplier, multiplier on that as well, so that helps out a lot there. I'm going to here soon uh, enable another challenge, which is where this came from. For anybody out there that doesn't know, this was originally a challenge that I had put up for uh, if people donated enough points, we would do 12 hours straight of gaming on the channel. And uh, it was met much more quickly than expected. Nice work, new guy. Taught me a lot about needing to, to charge more for things. <laughs> what is this? Some kind of secret handshake? 16.9. I bet Nate's way up there too, although he's uh, donated the majority of them for this particular stream, so. All right, new guy. Try out your phantom dash. Ah, so that'll let us teleport through these uh these these things. Ah, very cool, very cool. You gonna make me sing again soon? No. Mm -mm. We're getting rid of that one. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. No, people seem to uh, people seem to be having fun with that one, so I'll definitely leave it in there. But it is going to remain one per stream maximum. <laughs> yeah, no more than one per stream. That is staying. And don't think I won't increase the price on you guys, okay? <laughs> X then circle to phantom dash in the air. Very cool. Okay. X onto a panel to wall run. Ah! <laughs> we deaded. Sorry, phantom. We couldn't. We couldn't. Uh, we couldn't hang with you. Do we keep all the stuff that we had, or that we collected, or do we have to break all the boxes again? Looks like we, we kept whatever. Don't really need to phantom dash between... Oh, no. Jump up there, please. Okay. That one was a little scary. I, I thought we were dead there. I'm still not 100% certain on how the walls work. All I know is... Uh, try not to die. Okay. That was, that was close. I need a royal starship to find my friend. I heard you know where to get one. <laughs> you dare me to try it, you'll still save enough points for it. <laughs> I wouldn't make it anything too ridiculous, even if I did raise it a little bit. But, uh, yeah. If anybody has any other fun ideas for things for points, though, I'm happy to uh, take some suggestions here. Most of the ones that I have in there are the default ones by Twitch. And then, uh, obviously, the, the bigger stuff. Like the 12 hour stream was stuff that I, I put in personally. And then I have plans for uh, something to do with uh, the Dorseman. 
she always goes there. But obviously I can't enable that one until uh, we figure out together when and where and all that sort of stuff. I'll make you a deal. You see that blimp? You help me take control of it, and I'll help you get into Nefarious Tower. It's the only place in the city you're going to find a royal starship. What's so special about the blimp? Just find a way up to that rooftop. I gotta grab my gear. But I'll meet you up there. You have to talk about how amazing I am and how you would never survive without me because I'm the best girlfriend ever for two minutes. I don't think anybody's gonna donate for that one except for you. <laughs> no! <laughs> you can't agree with her. <laughs> oh, no. I, I don't know, Ruman. I think I like your idea better. <laughs> I think I think we should do that one, not the other one. <laughs> oh. But yeah, no, the the Simon says one does actually sound like something <laughs> that we could do. That there sounds like a fun idea, something the the try to concentrate on while also playing a game. I think we could I think we could do that one. That one sounds pretty cool. You like Rue, they're cool. I like Rue too. <laughs> She's only saying that, though, because you're feeding into her narcissism. <laughs> Let's see. Which way were we going? I wasn't paying enough attention. We're trying to get to the top, I think, right? But it looks like there's probably something over here. And you always, always got to go the wrong way first. Is that? Oh, there's another jumpy pad over there. I'm blind. Very nice. Oh wait, was this just another way around, maybe? Okay, so I think the I think we actually just arrived at the same place, just a uh, a different way. That's cool. Multiple different options. I like it. I can dig it. Uh, the shotgun may have been a little much for that. Never mess with the girlfriend. Always agrees it's the only way to survive. <laughs> I think I'm being the best. You better not have been snooping around in the bag that has your gifts in it that you accidentally left in the kitchen. I haven't even been in the kitchen since I made my salad this morning before I started the stream. <laughs> I'm excited to see what you got me, though. I did see how much you spent today, but... Oh, nope, we're, we're dead. Yep, we're, we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Well, because it popped up since you used uh, my personal card for it. It popped up right after you spent it. Just on the uh, on the thing there. I didn't really have any control over it. Uh, okay, L1. That's what we were trying to do. All right. Platforming, man. It's, uh, it's a struggle. Maybe. Yes. Give us upgrades. We fall in. <laughs> Ooh, an Egatron Collider. Very cool. You need 5,000 for that, though? We'll get there. We'll get there. How long is this game, real quick? While we're in a, 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 a moment, a, a paused moment here. How long to be Rift Apart? How long is Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart? It is... Oh, yeah, no. It's only uh, an average of 15 and a half hours for different people. We're definitely going to have to beat this on stream one of these days. I'm excited. I've been having fun with uh, Lord of the Rings, don't get me wrong. But I, at this point, especially after those super long battles, it's just starting to outlive its welcome, I think, right? So I'm so excited to, to, to finish it and uh, to finish this game, to play through this game. I mean, buy weapon upgrades to improve your maximum ammo, fire rate, and much more. Very cool. Press X to select the tutorializer to learn how to upgrade weapons. All right, force tutorial. That's fine, I guess. You like Miss Zircon, you better. This is a cool one. Yes, Miss Zircon, yeah, she's cute. And uh, no worries. I would definitely be finishing this one, but I have to finish the other game first, and then we'll get around to finishing this one on stream too. Use L to highlight the upgrade. It's start point. Okay. This upgrade will increase the weapon's maximum ammo. That makes sense since it says increase max ammo. Press and hold X to purchase. Gold cell clusters contain special upgrades. Purchase all upgrades connected to a gold cell cluster to unlock them. Upgrade okay. Purchase all upgrades. 
I'm assuming, is this using our actual raritanium? Accuracy, rapid fire shots are more accurate. Ooh, very cool. That's all there is to it. Upgrade one of your own weapons See? now. Why settle for a good all right, so whole skill trees here. That's awesome. Whole skill trees for everything. So what can we... Okay, so we have... Increase ammo picked up from crates by 50. We're not really running out of ammo at the time being, I feel like. Hits the head do bonus damage. That's good if you're any good at aiming, but I'm trash, so there's that. Uh, <laughs> accurate rate of fire, full rate of fire. Accuracy, just in general. Increase max Always ammo. Worth the cost to keep your in tip oh, that was, that was part of the tutorial still, okay. Whatever. Increase rate of fire, I think that's what we want to do. But I want to go from... So it costs one each. So I want to go from there to there. And then we have to surround these to, to unlock them. Full rate of fire. Accuracy. Which way do I want to go? I kind of want... The accuracy I feel like is fine. Oh, we're going to get more accuracy here. Why not? Let's, uh, let's go all the way around it. Let's do it. Unlock now, all of those. Gold cells unlocked. Headshot gone. damage. Hits to the head. Do more damage. Do we have to unlock them? No, it automatically unlocked. Very cool. Okay. Let's look at one of the other ones before we spend all of our points there. So we don't see anything gold here for now, at least, but... Fungi annoyance. Whichever enemy Mr. Fungi targets becomes more likely to target him back. That's helpful. Increase how many times he can fire. So helpful. Fungi fire rate. And then more annoyance stuff. Okay. Oh, no. I want to I wanna stay in upgrades. Shatter bombs. Area of effect. Fast pitch. Shatter bombs fly through the air much faster. Fire rate. I don't really think we need to increase the fire rate, but flying through the air quicker would make them more likely to hit. But so would area of effect. So I think I'm just going to unlock a few area of effect ones. And then we'll go to the last one, the enforcer, and see what that has. Area of effect. Okay. Shots go farther. That would be incredibly helpful, actually. Let's go ahead and unlock both of those. And then right now, we're mostly using the burst pistol, so let's start working towards getting more crate ammo pickup. We want rate of fire or accuracy. Rate of fire. And then increase the max ammo. That's helpful, too. I probably should have just done this one before spending all the points on that other one, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get more rare titanium. Ooh, are these some, like, prototypes of things that she's making or something? Get all of them for 1% of our yearly salary. That's it? That's all cost? Where are you? You got my starship ready? You'll get it, don't you worry. I just need a drink real quick. One last threat. The nefarious day spa. If you can distract these troopers, I'll hack nefarious' propaganda blimp and give this city a message it'll never forget. I think maybe we can handle that, yeah? With our new handy dandy pistol here. That's a good chunk of your salary. I mean, yeah, 1%. It doesn't sound like a whole lot, but if you actually think about it, that's that's a lot. <laughs> Alright, uh. So this uh this day spa, I'm guessing if we touch the purple stuff, we die. <laughs> Scalding hot oil. Purple oil at that. Oh yeah, look at that. Look how fast that freaking thing shoots now. That's beautiful. Okay, so the accuracy is a little iffy at such long range. <laughs> uh, bombs. Yes. Area of effect. Beautiful. If you don't aim, it just automatically targets whatever's closest. Of course, you can also kind of blow yourself up with it. So there's that. Uh, oh, we're out. Okay. Ah. Uh, uh, dodge, please. Uh, fungi. <laughs> Eat fungi. <laughs> yeah, so the original Ratchet & Clank was much more of, like, a brawler. Right? Like, had much more melee hand-to-hand -hand combat. Where now it seems much more focused on the, the range and the shooting stuff. But I always kind of saw that that's kind of the way it was going, right? It, it seemed like it for a long time. Also, I mean, Ratchet & Clank is made by Insomniac, 
who uh, have worked on on a lot of other games since Ratchet and Clank. Um, and uh, a lot of them have to do with uh, like more action-oriented stuff. So, and again, kind of foresaw the fact that they probably were going to uh, want to start making their their games a little more action-packed, a little more shooty McShooty face, you know. Uh, we are out of ammo. Can we go up there, please? Yes, ammo. Thank you. Ammo and health. Both very nice. Hi there. Uh, if you all little robots just want to die, that'd be cool. Like, I wouldn't mind that. That's all I'm saying. We should probably not be using guns for them. We also probably shouldn't just walk into the laser beams that they're firing. Like, that'd probably make sense. We is that Marty McFly over there? <laughs> Skid McMarks, I mean. <laughs> uh, too many, too many, too many laser beams. There's got to be more health around here somewhere. Health and ammo, please. Health and ammo. Ooh, teleport. Oh yeah, we should probably be careful not to go into the giant vat of purple. Hot oil as well. We be careful about that. We almost walked right into it. Uh, you. If you want to stop shooting me, that'd be cool. Finally. Are there more? The various tower, here I, come. I think that's it. Especially if your salary is low as it can be. Very true, wow. yep. Would you learn how to get it? Looks like I touched a nerve. All right. Deal's a deal. That's Glitch. She'll help you get onto the Emperor's private shuttle to the tower. <laughs> Access consoles in that huge statue of Nefarious in the center of the city. Just okay. look her up, and she'll handle the rest. We can do that. What are you doing? Tearing this whole rotten world down from the inside. <laughs> Stay strong, brother! No, Phantom. Poor guy. How do you expect me to get to the bazaar? <laughs> well, we can start by spinning this thing and seeing what it does. Looks like we're gonna just glide on down. Also, is that a hologram? I'm guessing I can't stand on that. That looks like pure energy. Looks I th like, think yeah, trying to stand on that would be a bad time. Pick up some ammo and whatnot before we go. Do I see any more boxes to pick up? Not really. Okay, I think that was it. So where'd that grind girl go? I'm lost. Uh, help. Thank you. <laughs> I like the little teleporting ability we have. That's nice. Can we do that while we're on here? No. Head to the statue, use Glitch, get a starship, and then find Clank on Sargasso. That's it. This should be easy. I'm on my way, buddy. Just hang in there for a little bit longer. Hey, Sugar, I forgot to mention earlier. I have spy bot in the factory for our resistance friends. Okay. You could pick it up. Yeah, where's that at? Spy bot? Sounds useful. Could be worth a look. Let's do it. I mean, I guess we probably got to go over here first, though. Aha! That has to be the access console. The weird organic looking thing? Oh! Hi there! <laughs> Who's cutting in line? Where did you even come from? Oh. Oops. Uh, hi. Okay, proper boss. Proper boss. Yep. Okay, hi there. You uh you hit big. You hit real big. Okay, yep. <laughs> you you definitely hit big. Hey, we leveled up! Uh what's happening? Oh. Okay, well, hey, at least we don't have to worry about damaging the, the town anymore. <laughs> Okay, gotta remember to dodge. And it seems like we are impervious to damage while dodging, which is very handy knowledge. 
Do you like fungi by any chance? Just, just curious. No particular reason. Ah, crap. Gotta remember to dodge. Gotta hit the freaking circle button, man. I'm trying to destroy you as fast as I can. Hey, another level up. Very nice. Everything's leveling up. Look at all the pretty particles. Can we maybe get a tiny bit of health? Oh, we're not doing as bad for health as I thought. We're on 15. That's not all that bad. I thought we were basically dead, but no. No, we're good. We're good. Everything's fine. Oh, I may, I may need to turn down the game a tiny bit, actually. I see where it peaked at. That was, a, that was a little high. Let me just put it down like one tick there. That should be okay, hopefully. All right, uh, any stuff for us? No, okay. Fine. Why is this one all like, it looks almost organic, all the crap growing on it. I imagine they're meant to be wires or something, but I don't know. You must be Glitch. I'm Ratchet. No, Glitch doesn't like us all that much, it looks like. Things aren't exactly going well, and actually, I think you're the only one who can help me right now. <laughs> See? Cute spider right there, man. Ah, we actually control it. Okay. I didn't expect this. This is way different from how hacking worked on the old game. <laughs> the old game was basically just spin some circles around and uh, line up some laser beams. That was it. It's all right, though. We got this. Just, just murder a couple of viruses. That's all. Easy. Do we have unlimited ammo? Wait, can we not? Oh, we have bombs! Holy crap, okay. Very cool. Awesome, okay. Dude, glitch is a cool little thing. Well, I mean, it's robotic, of course it's cute, it's not a real spider. <laughs> Look, I mean, are any spiders really real though, you know? Aren't they all just, just fake at the end of the day? <laughs> Nest deleted. I love it. So are the missiles the things flying around our head? They are. They're like little fairies that explode on command. Oh, hi. This, uh, I get motion sickness. This could be a bit of a problem. <laughs> oh, all this rotating and whatnot does not feel good. <laughs> Those computers back online. Perfect. You did great, Glitch. If <laughs> they can be burned with fire, yes, they are real. <laughs> oh, man. You sound like my brother. I'm surprised he didn't kill himself trying to get rid of spiders at different times in his life. Either burn his house down or, or kill himself with insecticide. Oh, does it only have six legs? I wasn't paying that much attention. I guess technically it wouldn't be a spider then, yeah. Oh, good job, Ratchet. <laughs> After him. No! I love when games don't take themselves too seriously. And that is another thing that they definitely do with these games, right? Not take themselves too seriously. <laughs> Oh, 
uh, nefarious. Why do I need a password? I'm the emperor. How about I obliterate you instead? Ha 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 ha. What? Was that the password? I feel like that was the password. Excellent. So are we going to be planet hopping on top of dimension hopping? Because this is more or less what it looked like on the other games, moving between planets, right? Just some nice scenes of outer space, some spaceships flying through a void. was stolen by Dr. Nefarious, who used it to bring you here? Now you just have to find your friend, who is also miraculously a Lombax, to save the day. And get home. <laughs> you must seriously think I'm an idiot. Look, as real as I'm sure this Dr. Nefarious is, this has the Emperor written all over it. It was an awesome best password. Mort? What's going on? Oh, uh, not Mort. I have no idea who Mort is, but... Not Mort! <laughs> With the one arm you have left. What do you think I'm doing? Running us into a dinosaur, it looks like. Or the ground, you know. Okay, now we're playing as her, okay. So I'm assuming she has... Different weapons? No, she has the same First, weapons and upgrades. Okay. Oh. How do we do upgrade? Oh, that's right. We got to go to one of the, the the robots to do the upgrades. We can't just do them anywhere. Duh. Very cool. Not looking clearly? Yeah, that's, that's exactly what she was doing. <laughs> what do you think I'm doing? Instantly wrecks afterwards. So I'm assuming she controls exactly like Clank, or Ratchet, I mean. Yeah, it feels exactly the same. Can she even do the, the dimension, or the, yeah, the stealth thing? Okay, yeah, so she's just, she's just Ratchet with a hammer. And, and Clank on her back, so she has, uh, different gliding and movement abilities and whatnot. Hey, some rare titanium, very cool. Can we, uh, can we kill the bugs? Do the bugs kill us? They seem harmless enough. Oh, we can kill them, though. <laughs> they can blow up, alright. See, this is more or less what the original Ratchet and Clank was like. Obviously, it didn't look nearly as pretty. But with enemies that you could, that you could relatively kill with a couple swings of your weapon. Very melee-focused. This is what uh, the original Ratchet and Clank was. But even as you got farther into that one game, even, it got more and more shooty <laughs> focused, right? Shooting focused and uh, more action heavy, etc. So, yeah. Ooh, which way to go? Does our map show us? Uh, not really. Let's go this way. Why not? I'm sure we can always come back and explore more later. Also, that just goes all the way around, doesn't it? Cool. <laughs> yep, we just did a giant circle. Good job, us! So it looks like... <laughs> I think we found out what way to go. The way that doesn't lead directly back to the ship. Ooh. Those look cool. Secret bead. Swamp acid, yes. Speedles. Yeah, that's why I'm gonna ride one. As soon as I can get close enough. Okay, so those things I was trying to shoot, we need to catch one. Also, I see that uh, the upgrade thing is here. My communicator must be broken. Let's talk to her. Let's see if we can afford that new weapon yet. We needed what was it, five thousand, which we have. I like her design. She looks really cool. Really cool. I like it. Alright, what do you got for us? You got any new weapons? New upgrades? Can can you talk to us? Are you refusing to talk to us? Oh, oh, there's enemies nearby. Maybe that's why. 
Oh, Jesus. They all follow me over here or something? There we go. So she won't talk to us when there's enemies nearby. That's that's fair, honestly. Uh, triangle, please. This wasn't what was in my Topiary sprinkler? Time. What is that? That is because I added our mutual friend on Nefarious City. Okay. That's neat. It's a way to like stun them in place. Oh, and it's a turret that does it for us. That's even better. Also, can she not see Ratchet like right there? Megatron, Negatron Collider, even better. Oh my god. A little extra there. Very cool though. Okay, so we don't have enough money to get both. But we can definitely get one, and I kind of want the topiary sprinkler over the negatron glider. Let's do that one. And then upgrade, uh, we have just enough. Or no, we have one extra actually. Let's go ahead and uh, max this one out, why not? And then, what's the, the new weapon that we got? The Topiary Sprinkler? We can get uh, increased sprinkler lifetime. Very handy. Enemies take additional damage. Also very handy. Increase initial splash radius. Let's do uh, this the lifetime. Let's make it last longer. I mean, she clearly has some psi issues if she almost crashed into a dino. I think you meant sight, yeah. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> so this also works just like the, the missiles, which, you know, makes sense. Ooh. Ooh, okay, so is it a turret, or does it just shoot randomly? Because it looks like more like a sprinkler. It's kind of what it's looking like here, which is fine. It's just not what I was expecting. I thought it would be like a, a turret that would lock onto enemies or whatever. You know what else I appreciate? The fact that I didn't just fall off the side of the map right there. Because it's kind of hard to be running around dodging, trying to shoot people, and paying attention to where the edge of the map is all the time. So if it wants to help me not do that, I'm totally down for that. What can I say? I'm the best. Alright, was there anything up here that we missed? Or around here that we missed? Uh, other than a bunch of baddies, obviously. Oh wait, can we get, can we get one of the crabs? I feel like there's no way to get them until we get to like a certain point, yeah. I don't think we can actually capture them yet. They're just here for flavor at the moment. Helmet? Nope. <laughs> it cares not. A little bit of health, we'll take that. We, uh, we've taken a tiny bit of damage, just, just a little bit, you know. Nothing major, but one or two little hits. And I wonder, it appears like, that dimensional distortion is emanating from that cave. So she recognized not having the same amount of money she had, and having a lot more or a lot less, one or the other, than what she had before. But she didn't notice just all of the new weapons and abilities that she unlocked that she never had before. Like, that's fine. Just not worried about it at all, huh? Okay. I um a dimensional pocket? Perhaps a symptom of the dimensionator's destruction. Hey, sounds good to me. I mean maybe because I basically invented this stuff. Must have wandered in through the rift somehow. There is the speedle. Really, this is the only speedle we could po po possibly capture? We had to go through a whole nother dimension. <laughs> uh, sure. Why not? 
Hello, Speedle. I just want to ride you a little bit there, friend. Okay, so this thing's actually a tank. <laughs> it just crashes through everything. With no care in the world. Perfect. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Alright, where are we supposed to be going, though? Let's see here. Can we click the button? If we can. That's so nice. Being able to click the, the button to just get a quick objective pop-up for where we're supposed to be going. I really do appreciate that. This, uh... What is this? Oh, we got a new, new uh, helmet thingy. That's right. Galactic Ranger helmet. Very cool. I don't know how to use it, but... I'm not going to complain about getting it. Oh. Look, I didn't even see it there. That's just a little tiny plant. It should have moved out of the way. It's got nothing on our tank here, like... <laughs> This thing's fast, not only in a... Uh, oh, okay. Goodbye, friend. <laughs> I was going to say, not only on uh, the acid blade there, but also on land. It just scurries around like nothing. What else do we got? Are we going to get a new friend to help us out here, or are we just on foot now? I think we may just be on our own on foot. Would have been a lot quicker. Oh, hey, never mind. I take that back. We got a new friend right here. I say I'll be much faster on the back of one of them, but... R1 to speed boost? Ah, oh, that wasn't even as fast as they can go? Oh, no. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, okay. Well, it's done. Locate Speedle Nest and Maynard Bot. You mean that thing right there in front of us? Hey, we leveled up. Level 3, another 10 health. Very cool. Yeehaw! Yeehaw is right. Oh, we already knocked him out of his... Out of his, uh, his nest there. Ruined his nap. Excuse me. <laughs> Okay. That looked like one of those things from Morrowind. Okay, well. You say that as we crash. Oh no. Too fast. and his robo-pen across dimensions just to get stopped by some fuzzballs. So you got like nine and a half seconds to tell us where they're at. One. Why nine and a half? Can I just shoot him? Can I, can See, I gun him? They are looking for Ratchet. I am telling the truth. <laughs> Bit of a missile there that he shot at us. So those things, once they hit the ground, they uh, have a little area of effect thing that pops up. I have to keep that in mind. And I'm guessing the level ups that we're getting on the guns unlock more things that we can put rare titanium into. I'm thinking that's how that works. Because I noticed that some weapons had more squares unlocked than others that we could use to, to upgrade with. And I wasn't sure how they, uh, how you unlocked them, but I mean, levels would be the, the simplest way for that, right? Makes sense. Ah, the dog bit us? Really? Come on. Take down giant lizard men with swords, but one little dog. That should have been another hint to believe Clank easily. Yeah, very true. Very true. I don't like you shooting m missiles at me, you know? It's not nice. Hey, friend. Is that all of them? No, maybe not. Okay, yeah. Mort. Good, you're okay. Us? Oh, when we heard those fellas were after a we were worried about you. 
you. The next thing we know, you're here saving our behind. Wait, where are the others? Well, uh, some of the morts are stuck inside of that mess there. Not a clue what it is. All I know is it keeps getting bigger. Oh, between that and our new neighbor up there, we are not doing too fine. <sighs> Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Oh, and to keep you all busy while I'm gone, got this at Zerky's. Mort can finally fix that ship she's been working on. Zerky's? Oh, those pirates didn't give you any trouble, did they? Eh, uh, only a little. You can give this to Mort yourself once you get her from that purple mess over there. Very cool. That seems like a pretty decent place to take another break, though. Just gonna stretch, get a drink, do all the usual. It's been nearly an hour. Time is flying by here. But we still got about another 45 minutes to an hour left of playing this game before we wind down and sign off. But let's, uh, let's go ahead and switch over to the break screen. Everybody can get a drink, relax, stretch out for a moment, and then we'll be right back. me oh my oh please nate <laughs> i'll stick a couple on mine too it'll be great <laughs> wasn't that a tiktok trend though mr noodle not very family oriented how is this not family oriented i don't know what you're talking about yes it was see i told you i knew that was a thing is that a landmine on Bob? What? <laughs> Why are you trying to kill my robot, Nate? Wow. <laughs> Bro, I don't like the noises this door's making. <laughs> you have some really big ones somewhere? Okay, so we collected 54 from here. Is that just what happens when you collect all of them in an area or something? If you don't have a robot vac, Nate, don't get one. <laughs> <clears throat> Why not? They're great. They're actually they're actually really nice. It's literally a toddler. They're not that bad. Hey, Mr. Noodle, can you do me a favor? Oh, you know what? That's why I was wondering why Piglet kept like, uh, like hunching over and, and walking very slowly and whatnot. Piglet must be scared. Because of the doors, so we're gonna have to have Mr. or Christopher Robin. He needs to tell us that everything's gonna be okay. And will you bring me up my drink, Mr. Noodle? I'd appreciate it very much. Everything will be all right, Piglet. Yes. You must believe in yourself. I do. I do. Thank, Thank you, you, Christopher, Christopher Robin. Robin. I feel better already. Well, you don't have to. I'd appreciate it, but you don't have to, love. There was a TikTok trend about weaponizing the Roomba, and you still kind of want one. They're actually very nice. Don't let her get to you. It's just because, like, we have a couch that's kind of broken, but the robot vac can still get under it, right? So, like, it gets under it, and then it gets stuck because the couch is a little bit broke. Same with, like, we have an ottoman where it's not broke, but the cloth underneath of it has gotten worn out. So it gets, like, tangled up in the cloth sometimes. Just things like that. Like, it just gets tangled up and whatnot every now and then. And then if you have stuff on the floor, sometimes it'll it'll get stuck when the stuff on the floor or whatever. But, like, big stuff. Obviously, little stuff it's meant to, to pick up. Weaponize the Roomba. I'm thinking more, like, sticking a, a, a Tommy gun on top of it or something. I don't know. I want it simply to receive it is stuck at a cliff notification. Yeah. Ours doesn't actually say the cliff, sadly. But, uh. All right. Everybody back? Everybody all stretched out? Feeling all right? I know I am. Gonna give it just a second before we hop right back into the gameplay here. Crack my neck a little bit. There we are. I'm starting to get hungry too, you know? I don't know what I want for dinner yet. Thinking, uh, probably gonna have a salad. Because I, I love me a salad and I'm trying to, uh, 
trying to uh, eat a little bit more leafy greens anyways. But I don't know what I want to go with it. Chicken or steak, either one of those sounds wonderful, but some, that's a lot of work. <laughs> Could just do like chicken nuggets in a salad, you know? Something healthy, something unhealthy. Perfect. We said uh, getting a bit tired, but that's normal now. Yeah, it is getting pretty late. I don't know what your normal sleep schedule is like, but it's, uh, and I guess you're you're probably a couple hours behind us too, huh? Chicken Alfredo, perhaps? That would be wonderful. I don't have uh, anything to make Alfredo sauce with, though, sadly. I don't have any pre-jarred or uh, enough Parmesan or anything to make any homemade. So, not today, sadly, but I, I see some in my future. Especially if Mr. Noodle has anything to do with it. she uh, <laughs> I'm sure she will jump at the opportunity to have some. Was the sleep schedule you speak of? Yeah, it's, a, it's this thing that uh, some of us do where you just go to bed, like, around the same time every day it never really works for me it's more like a, a sleep suggestion right uh <laughs> but mr noodle popping out of the woodwork there hmm? yeah some chicken alfredo that's what rue was eating earlier and uh that's what i i was saying how much you love chicken alfredo and how we'll probably have to make some here soon especially if you start hearing about it because one of your favorites yeah. <laughs> That's probably Mr. Noodle's favorite food. Either make it or get some, yeah. Either or. Same, hell, I can't even fall asleep naturally. You have to take some sleep aid, otherwise you crash around 4 a.m. That's my normal time to go to bed is around 4 a.m. So, <laughs> I can go to sleep earlier than 4 a.m., 5 a.m., but the problem is if I go to bed before that, I usually just end up treating it like a nap not necessarily because i try to but uh that's just kind of what happens so i end up sleeping for like an hour or two and then my body's just like okay you're done get up and it's like no i have to be up super early tomorrow i actually want to go to sleep right now but my body's like no you had your nap time you don't go to bed for another four hours so <laughs> kind of screws me over there pizza's probably your fave yeah yeah i should have known you eat a lot of pizza. Not only do we do pizza like once a week in our household, but then she also likes to buy it for work. Like the little personal pizzas or like uh, Hot Pockets, like the Pizza Hot Pockets and stuff like that. Alfredo called assemble. Heck yeah. Helk. That's a new word. <laughs> when you're trying not to curse, <laughs> but you forget until halfway through. Helk. <laughs> pizza is probably your fave. Oh. I don't know how you're not tired of pizza, though, with as much as you eat it. And then sometimes her mom will buy pizza for her in the middle of the week, too. So we'll have it at the end of the week, and then her mom will buy it for her in the middle of the week, and then she'll get pizza at work for, like, lunch and whatnot. Ridiculous. But <laughs> she's happy with it, so that's all that matters. You had some today? <laughs> I'm not surprised at all. Not even a little bit, to be honest. <laughs> just, uh, I just love how happy with yourself you look there. <laughs> you have no self-control with Hot Pockets. You eat them all in one sitting. That's how I am with, uh, not Hot Pockets, but Pizza Rolls. I'm the same way with those. I Man, I love Pizza Rolls. Put a little bit of ranch, maybe a little bit of hot sauce, and mm, it's perfect. Try aiming at the rift. I know there's a thing we can do with the rift, I promise. I'm just trying to find this stuff. The rare Atanium. Gotta get them upgrades and them secrets, man. I think... I don't know if I have any pizza rolls left, but I'm kind of wanting some now. Pizza rolls and salad for dinner wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> but... All right, let's hop in. Okay. Whole forty piece bag yourself? Heck yeah. May I take a look? Oven or microwave I though? Have some experience with dimensional anomalies. I. Sure. I'm a microwave guy myself. I 100% prefer pizza rolls in the microwave. Something about them being super crispy just doesn't sit right with me. Greetings. 
did you get in here? Where exactly is, um, here? Oh, you don't know? Well, I don't either. It appears to be a space between dimensions. Could be nothing. Could be a cascading entropic fissure that will soon turn the entire universe into a formless soup. Time will tell. Oh. Oh, dear. Well, I am Clank. Please allow me to help. Right, yes, Clank. I'm so glad you agree. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people prefer them in the oven that have tried them in the oven. It's just not for me. I'm also the same way with other things that some people would consider weird, though, like uh, chicken nuggets. Pizza rolls are meh. Mr. Noodle, come on, man. Why are you so lame? <laughs> Pizza rolls are delicious. You might just be the one I've been waiting for. Would you like to help me fix the dimensions? Wait, we're friends with his father? Is his father Ratchet? They're your possibilities. The key to repairing this anomaly. But first, pick up that nearby sphere. Yep, got it. This is a lift sphere. It can reduce the gravity on any object it touches. It seems your possibilities are what keeps an anomaly from collapsing. Okay. They look like you because that's how you interpret dimensionality. But as you can see, they've lost their way. If you Ooh. can guide them to the meta terminal ahead. Oh, very cool. Okay. Okay, so we gotta we gotta create a clear path for them to get through. Very nice. I like it. I'm lazy. I don't want to use an oven when you can just pop them into microwave and cook them faster. That's part of the reason for me, but it's also very much a taste thing. I, I don't know what it is. They just, whenever chicken nuggets, at least the, the brands that I buy of frozen chicken nuggets, whenever I cook them in the oven, they they almost taste and feel greasy, right? Whereas when I cook them in the microwave, like, yeah, a couple of them will end up being soggy, but I'd have rather have one or two soggy ones than a bunch of them that make me feel sick eating them. <laughs> Six probably not the right word. It doesn't really make me feel sick. It's just, uh, it doesn't taste as good, though. Speed sphere. That'll get you moving. Okay, so we're doing we're doing puzzle elements now. Some extra speed could make quick work of that barrier. Zero G. All right. So we're gonna throw this in the second one. And then throw that one in there, and that should launch them right on up there. There we go. Perfect. Gotta get that speed and then jump, boy. That device may be able to redirect my possibilities. There must be a way to activate it. Yeah, smash it. Oh, don't even have to smash it. Just touch it, I guess. Outstanding. It just makes you disappointed it doesn't taste right. Yeah, honestly, that's that's what it is. <laughs> just plain and simple. Exit through the meta terminal? Okay. Ooh, another puzzle? I, feel I like puzzles. This is actually pretty cool. By oh, puzzles, I'm getting smashed. Not in a good way. What it is. The words will come to you. Uh, no, not that one. This one. Now, lead your possibilities to the final meta terminal. And not okay. Just now, but there's a lot riding on this. Like, a lot, a lot. If I right. This anomaly, there's got to be... Oh, I can go over there to get it. In this oh. <laughs> Can I grab it from over there? No. Okay, maybe I have to jump around it. Okay. <laughs> Is that going to make it go faster? Yeah, I think that made it go faster. <laughs> we need to go break these things here. What makes you say that? It has been a long time since I have been a hero. And with everything that happened with the dimensionator all right so if we concerned. if we hit Time this that'll flip stress, that which seems to be every day of my life <laughs> i've always found it best to take things one step at a time focus on what's in front of me huh oh wait there's another there's another thingy up there okay i see so we gotta we gotta do like we did last time we need to get the other thingy the other orb Use that to jump over there so we can get the other orb. Oh, 
Okay. Yep. Can we can we stop? Thank you. All right. Run and big jump. Get the third orb. Hold X to glide down. Cool, cool. And then now we want to throw this in there to lift that one. Throw you in there and throw you in there. Very cool. There we go. Uh, don't fall. Now we just gotta make this thing rotate and we should be good. Uh, do I need anything before you start making your potato chip cluster? No, I'm good. Thank you though, Mr. Noodle. Yeah, I mean, I'll be down in like 45 minutes-ish to make a salad and, and something else to eat with it. But other than that, no, I'm good. You're welcome. So then I said, listen, Mort, you, Mort, and Mort better hide that lemonade before Mort shows up. Whoa. Oh, they're all called Mort? Them. How did you do that? I am uncertain. Oh, Rivet, how the heck are you? Look who it is. <laughs> you okay. not believe my luck today. My trip to Nefarious City went totally sideways. I wrecked my ship, and I... Uh -huh. You go on and leave that one to old Mort. <laughs> well, assuming you brought that part I asked for, hmm? I'll have this old thing in ship shape. <laughs> How about you don't go getting in my way, Mr. Noodle? Hmm? <laughs> what are we going to do there? You'll find out soon enough. Guys, right, so they're working on my ship. Hey, we got a trophy. Cool. Quantum mechanic. Very nice, I suppose. Next stop, hideout. Lower the boob somehow. Uh, I feel like the dinosaur is on our side for some. Oh no, okay, I see now. I see it's got a health bar. <laughs> are they at least focused on it and not on me? I think we'll be okay, Clank. <laughs> We got, we got some fun guy putting in some work over there. Look at that. Oh, nope. Okay, well, he's running out of other people to play with, which uh, isn't handy. Uh, I liked it better when you had other friends, Mr. Gunthor, sir. <laughs> nice bomb to the butt. Nothing that I can't take care of. What? Seriously? I just saved you, basically, man. How you gonna be like that? How rude. No more hostiles within range. Cool, cool. Okay. So, what that means is we can collect some rare Atanium now. Um. Okay, so we gotta lower the bridge. I think they're... Is that, is that all that needed done? You just need to step on the pressure plates? Like, that wasn't really that hard, Mort, Mort, and Mort. How many Morts were there? <laughs> it looks like there's something over there. There's definitely something over there. Can I get over there? I'm gonna die. I caught it. I knew I was gonna die. It's so close, though. Hold on. We gotta try it again. We got this. No! Ah, oh, it's so freaking close. One more try, and then I give up. Ah, oh, crap, there's not a double jump. Okay, one more try, I lied. Okay, you gotta, you gotta double jump right at the top. Nope. Nope. Ah, oh, man, it looks like you should be able to make it. And there's definitely something glowing over there. It's gonna bug the crap out of me, but I don't think we're meant to go over there. At least not right now. Hi there, friend. Oh. That was a bad throw. How about you leave my friends alone there? Mort Mort never did anything to you. Hey, uh, friend. 
<laughs> yep, goodbye. Uh, maybe don't try to use a grenade at point blank range. I don't think that's going to end so well for anybody. Them or us. <laughs> Hey Mort, you may wanna you may wanna get out of here, bud. These guys are not kidding around. They have guns. And I mean they're not particularly good at firing them at anything, but they try. Alright, we got a ship to deal with. With a bunch of dogs. And no problem, man. We got this. Easy. Although where's the ship at? There it is. Hi there, friend. Friend with a sword. Hey! Don't you know you're not supposed to hit a... Wombat? Lom lombax? Lombax, not Wombat. <laughs> Don't you know you're not supposed to hit whatever kind of creature I am? I wish you had a jetpack feature, Ooh. I do as well. <laughs> Wish you had a jetpack feature, I do as well. I feel like... No, no, he did. I, say, I feel like he did at some point, but no, nah, I don't think he did. I think I'm misremembering something else. Can we, uh, get that out? Oh, I forgot about the, uh, the, the turret thingy that we got. How do we, how do we use that? Gotta switch to this. Topiary sprinkler, that's the one. Oh, it's too late now, but... Oh, well. We'll try to remember to try that out the next time we get into combat. <laughs> oh, so this one's got a hammer crank. Right, of course. Uh, so how do we get... Is there another one on the other side or something? How do we get the rest of the bridge up? Oh, maybe there's a dimension shift thingy. Not succeed in jumping across. Just scooping it out. I mean, I'm sure he's right, but I'm also tempted to try it anyways. <laughs> okay. Does Mort Mort have any suggestions? Maybe... Oh, nope. I wanted to do... Okay, shooting that thing does not care. Oh! Hold on, didn't even see it there. Yep, thanks. That sounds like an excellent idea. <laughs> another Grunthor? We got it. No problem. What's a little Grunthor action? He's just hungry anyways. See, he just wants a friend. Yeah, big guy. What are you? What are you even doing? I don't suppose that the topiary bomb will work on you, will it? It will. Hey, look at that. Perfect. Oh, it doesn't last very long, though, does it? <laughs> ah, you know what? That was still not bad. I don't know if I like it enough to replace any of the other weapons with it. Holy crap, that thing does a lot of damage, though. Uh, Okay, we're actually a bit hurt at the moment. So if you don't mind just uh, leaving me alone. Uh, Do you want to die? Because I'm about to. And if you die, then I don't have to die. Oh, no. Look, when I said when I said we could deal with you, I was lying. <laughs> I didn't mean it, really. Ammo, please. Uh. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Okay, it's dead. It's dead. It's fine. Holy crap! That was way too close for comfort. <laughs> 
All right, looks like there's some health scattered around here, though. I didn't see it in the, uh, in all the excitement, but... All right, so we're probably going to have to use a Speedle, then, I think is what they're trying to get at. We don't need any more health yet, but I'll take the... The, uh, the ammo and money. All Speedle, I need your, I need your help, friend. Perfect. Is she gonna tear me apart or clank apart? I guess. I kind of. Please don't. <laughs> I would appreciate it if you just let me live, or clank live, whatever. Am I clank or am I ri uh, rivet? Why are you so hesitant to trust me? Look, robots aren't really my thing, especially when they're tearing my galaxy apart. I am not. I was trying to help Ratchet find the other Lombaxes. We'll see the truth soon enough. Pocket dimension seven two nine two one one zero zero one optional. Okay, screw it. Let's do the optional one real quick. So this must be like the the one that we did before, right? Just uh, some sort of bonus we get if we complete this one. It's very pretty. I like all the purples. Please and thank you. No taking me apart. Seriously though. Um. So suddenly Crash Bandicoot. Oh. <laughs> okay, so they respawn. But how are we going to do this one? Is one of them going to blow up the next one? I don't know. Oh, hi. Goodbye. <laughs> Too easy. Uh, perfect. We got it. No problem. What do we get? A new helmet skin or, or emote or whatever? Done done. Oh, a new pair of boots. Robot disguise. Part two of three. I'm, uh, can we jump there? Yeah, okay, let's see. Cool, cool. Okay, I mean, I'll take it. I don't know if the disguise is actually useful at any point. I got stuck on the geometry again. Um... But still, neat thing to have, I guess. Oh, did we just find a different way up here? Yeah, okay. Just took the hard way up. Crank that! What is... That looks like one of the Infobots from the original game. I imagine that's meant to be some sort of Easter egg or this something. Is extremely unnecessary. See? I was telling the truth, lady. As yeah. I have been saying repeatedly. You're nefarious. He looks a lot like mine. Evil like him too. And that Lombax. I know it might sound crazy, but you think he is your dimensional counterpart. Or something. Look, whatever's going on here, we're gonna fix it. We? I thought robots are not your thing not all of them just most you know like the emperor his stupid followers pirates yeah i see the irony too oh i apologize i did not mean to um you feel bad even though i just watched your brain diary thingy Not all of us are jerks, you know? Jeez. 
What, uh, is that gonna explode? This thing looks like it's gonna explode. <laughs> oh, well. I think the seeker pod thingy found us. Maybe time. Okay, well, good job losing my best friend. Appreciate that. Oh, a speedle. We gonna chase it down? We're coming for you, buddy. Let's go. Uh, actually, it's my annoying robot, but... Oh, there's bombs. Dodge the bombs. Suddenly, kart racing minigame. <laughs> so, if... We are Ratchet's dimensional counterpart. Is it, uh... Is it wrong to essentially date yourself from another universe or another dimension? Like, is that okay? Because, I mean, we're both the, uh... Okay. We're both the, the only Lombaxes left in existence, right? Of our respective, uh... Okay, what am I, what am I trying to do here? There we go. <laughs> Of our ex uh, ex uh, respective dimensions. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. So, like, is it okay if we, you know, save the Longbacks race? I would say so, yes, but maybe the DNA is different. It's debatable for sure. Yeah, I'm not sure how that works. I don't know. I don't know the science on that one. <laughs> would they even be uh, compatible, I guess, is another question. Got uh, another trophy there, very cool. Okay, uh, so I don't really want that one. Uh, okay, I forgot to dodge. I do what I want. Um, okay, which apparently means getting hit a lot. We are basically out of ammo and everything. Science we may never know. No, it's fine. We just got to create a dimensionator and then blow it up. And uh, it'll be fine. <laughs> and then we can we can run some experience to find out. Alright, so same sequence again, I guess. Um, should we be going fast since it's behind us? Like, I'm not sure if we want to be in front of it, behind it, or what. Imagine we're trying to get on top of it again, right? Yeah, okay. There we are. And ramming time. Oh. We'd be falling. Oh, right next to some health. Thank goodness we need some of that. Hey, do you mind waiting just a second here, buddy? Oh, somehow we already have full health. Never mind, we're fine. Uh, okay, but we had full health. He so rudely attacked us. Um. Okay, big missiles. Not nice. Especially big missiles that that persist on the ground. Also, very not nice. Do we have any explosives left? Come on, you're dead. You're dead. I don't want to do another... No more. I guess I don't want to do another round. That's what you get for taking my best friend, loser. Oh, nice, man. Just flying hammer to the face. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Well, we've still got some unfinished business. Ooh, we should see if Mort fixed up the ship. Is this our ship now? <laughs> can we can we just take this one? This one seems a little more. Uh, I guess it's a little less uh, stealthy, maybe than the one we were used to flying around. But it also seems pretty decent. 
Oh, I also figured out uh, what that island is that we couldn't get to. Nice. Delightful. There we go. Not the way we wanted to go. Um, there we go. Go to there, and then quickly now. <laughs> hey, Mort Mort. Thank you kindly, but uh, actually, real quick before I go to you. Thank you. Ready to go? Absolutely. No, we're not. We need to talk to Miss Zircon here. The Ricochet. What is that one? I'm, I'm guessing it ricochets off things. Got 18 this time. Every time Mr. Noodle makes the dessert she's making, she's been getting 19. And uh, I don't like odd numbers, <laughs> so I was like, how? How do you get 19 every single time? And uh, this time she got 18, and honestly, that's fine. I'm fine with that. 18's a good number. You can get 18 with it more often. So it shoots out a thing, and then every time we pull the trigger, it kind of snaps back to wherever we're aiming at. That's pretty cool. Do we want that or the Negatron Collider? I think we kind of want... I mean, this would probably be a little bit better for bosses and whatnot right yeah i think we're i think we're gonna we're gonna go in order we'll get the negatron collider what is the lightning rod coming soon what yeah i want to see what that's like okay oh we got 18 of these things holy crap okay so we unlocked a couple of the special ability things here let's see we really like the shatter bombs i'm a big fan of those so let's go into this one increase ammo picked up from crates by two i mean that's nice, but I'm not that worried about that. What's the fungi? When Mr. Fungi leaves, he emits a toxic cloud in the area. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That will cost nine. Mm, yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. I like the Mr. Fungi. He's cool. Let's get the upgrade. And he'll fire faster. I wish he would stick around longer. I don't think we got any of those ones. Yeah, that's going to be up here, which... Oh, wait, no. Strong guy targets. I don't know. Ah, uh, whatever. Who cares? And then the Enforcer. What is its ability? Shots pierce anything in their path. That's pretty cool. I'm sorry, Noodle, but I'm with him on that. I have slight OCD where things need to be in even amounts. <laughs> Trying to get 20. It's, it's, it's fine, though. Like, hey, 18's better than 19. That's, that's what we need to focus on here. <laughs> Shots travel faster? I mean, that's cool, I guess. What are these last, like, three upgrades? Rapid-fire shots are more accurate. Increase max ammo. Increase rate of fire when in accuracy mode. Increase max ammo. Increase max ammo. Okay, sure. Yep, let's just, uh, let's go around this one. I don't... Do we have enough? I think we have enough. Yeah, we do. Cool. Let's unlock all this crap here, too. Nice mod, huh? Flight speed. Shots travel faster. Nice, nice. And then, I don't know, why don't we drop a token point in the Negatron Collider since we haven't put any in there. Charge each shot faster or increase duration of a fully charged beam. I think we'd rather charge it faster because uh, I doubt we'll have foresight. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, so we just hold to charge and then blast it. Oh man, that does not last long at all on a first level charge though, does it? Okay, very cool, very powerful, but yeah, very short burst though. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's hop on the ship. How much time do we got? We got about 15, 20 minutes left. What that should be enough say? to get through another area. Phantom, Moidoy, Captain Quantum, Klatchki, me. Attention, resistance. I'm posting the Emperor's hit list to our network. Come on, let's fix that communicator. We've got a dimension to save before the Emperor finds us too. Ah, cool, so now we can pick worlds. Yeah, so this is how the Ratchet and Clank games I'm used to work. So, here we can search the factory. There's reported resistance activity at the factory by the bazaar. Or we can go to the debris field. This is the one we need to do. Let's go... Ooh, let's go to the new area. 
go ahead and do it. Normally I would complete one world before I go into the other, but in these games, you never know if you have all the movement abilities you need to, to get everything for one. And for two, I want to see what other cool stuff they have in store for us. What's on your mind? Come on, let's hear it. I am feeling a bit responsible for all of this. Perhaps it is because of me that the dimensions are falling apart, that Ratchet and I are lost. Oh. It's not your fault, buddy. Well, hey, your communicator's about to get fixed, so that's something. Ah, <sighs> right. Ooh, okay. What is this world? This is like a, uh, it doesn't even look like a world. This is an asteroid or something, right? Just a piece of a world. Okay, yeah, so I definitely think we can fall through that. I think those are just, like, guides for, for ships coming in into port. Not actual, like, things <laughs> that are solid in any way. Cool. Hey. I hope you are right. The These things. The dimensionator seems to have caused a sort of dimensional cataclysm. These things look a lot like the bomb creatures that you could get in the first game. Just larger. Like a smaller version of these, you would throw out a little cluster of them and then they would hunt people down and then explode. <laughs> Just kind of terrible at cheering people up. You're, you're not wrong. <laughs> hey, all that matters is your communicator. It's going to be fixed soon, okay? And that's all that really matters, right? Nah, I get what she was trying to do, though. Like, once the communicator's fixed, she'll be able to, uh, or he'll be able to talk to his friend again. And that's, uh, part of what's bothering him, at least. What was the point of going up here? There's somewhere we can go? Am I missing something? Oh. Nope. Okay, I don't really know what the point of coming over here was. Maybe that's something we'll be able to do something with later, I don't know. I thought we found a secret. But maybe not. Look for Zerky in the gastropub. You're kind of cool looking. What are you? Is that a backpack? That's cool. I like your I like your junk there, man. 18 pounds of scrap from pirates are rare. I feel like that's probably a fairly common thing to come across. <laughs> Pirate scrap. You're right, I did. That was me. I did that. <laughs> Is this another optional area? Pocket Dimension 78, 89, 50. Optional, it is. Uh, maybe we'll get the last part of our robot disguise. Uh, okay, so these things... Uh, okay. That was rude. <laughs> I was trying to jump over there. Alright, so we, we, gotta, we gotta time these. It sounds like they might make a little bit of a noise right before they rotate. They do. Uh, uh, what? I just got pushed! What was that? <laughs> that was trash. No. I timed that just fine. I got pushed by something. I, I don't know. I guess maybe the geometry of it is a little off or something. That is that is infuriating. Bet we could jump on the side of it if we were good at this game. Man, now I want to see a speedrun of this game. Between seeing some of the ways you could break the game and the fact that they have speedrunning uh, options specifically built into the game, I really want to watch a speedrun of it. I might end up doing that as I'm going to sleep tonight or something. <laughs> Oh, no, but that's a new set. Q-Force. Okay. Very cool. That's nice. That is nice. I like that effect. Oh, we are going completely the wrong way, though. It's a good way to, uh, to lose track of where you're going. <laughs> Made recipes slowly coming along. 
More slime aid recipe? What are you talking about? Did we pass something? I'm glad you're enjoying yourself, ma'am. Or... Sir. Can we, uh... Can we jack your ship? Can we be pirates ourselves? No. Well, we can jack all your cargo, at least. What do you say to that? I took all of your nuts and bolts. The most premium of currencies, obviously. <laughs> I never really understood the, the nut and bolt economy. I, I don't understand who thought that was the, uh... The way goods should be... be bought and paid for Wanna make your enemies go hey there's the lightning rod cool, cool. The lightning rod. well we can't afford it though not even close but ever feel like sticking your foes full of electrified needles you don't but what if they cause those fo foes to spread the electricity around when they're defeated yeah now we're talking so is that basically the needler but add electricity that's what it sounds like wait is 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 that a dimension is the whole pirate thing, pub, or whatever it is, a dimension? Would that make this a TARDIS? Is it bigger on the inside? <laughs> uh, this doesn't look too good. No weapons. Welcome to Zerkis, your newly interdimensional gaser pub and battleplex. I will take your coat and also all Aww. your weapons. It's so fluffy! <laughs> It's so fluffy, I'm gonna die! <laughs> Bruh, I want that hammer. Give me that one. I bet you there's weapons in here from other games and stuff. If I knew any of these better. I feel like there's probably Easter eggs galore. He'll know where to find the pirate with the spare parts. All over the place. I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen a uh, Jack and Daxter Easter egg yet. Or we may have, and I may have just not noticed it. Hey, Mr. Noodle with another five tier bit. Thank you so much, love. The sooner we fix my communicator, the better. The sheep. Namaste, and peace be with you, Rivet. Hey, Zerky, have you seen our favorite first mate anywhere? I need a signal booster. Well, well, well. We meet again, my wishy. Give me the part. Did you follow me here? Another fruitless effort to win my affection? Give me the part, Pierre. Time and again, I tell you, my heart is taken. And yet... Rusty Pete? Rusty? Mon dieu. Your friend has a saucy tongue. My name is Pierre Lafay. Pirate extraordinaire. I'll fight you for it. Why did I suddenly expect him to start singing? I am more lover than fighter. And for you, I will always make an exception. Let's go. Ready to kick some robo butt? I have many issues with that question. But why not? Where do we sign up to battle? Ah, uh -oh, so it's a whole arena area. Very cool. Oh, can we change the music? Oh no, we can dance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very cool. Some smooth moves there, Rivet. I love it. Again, just adds flavor. The pirate dude is weird a little bit. Don't worry, I'll win you that part. Okay, welcoming committee. Dance, dance, baby. So Zircon Jr. could do these with his the eyes closed. Are you at the top? Alright, so uh, I'm guessing this is just an arena fighter, right? No holes barred, just murder each other. Defeat Pierre's crew, okay. I'm sure we can do that. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Nice try. Yeah, uh, your sword's got nothing on my hammer, bruh. 
Yes. Yes, it must. Uh, let's get the topiary sprinkler. I feel like this one could come in handy with what we're doing right now. Oh, they're cheating? What the heck? Come on. No honor among pirates, apparently. That's fine. We'll take them out anyways. No problem, man. Look at that. Frozen in place. Can't do crap. Wave 2 complete. Nice. I mean, if it's an officially recognized wave, are they really cheating? Wave 3? Where are they at? Oh, what? There's some little guys. What are they? They seem nice. Nice little murder robots, that's all. No big deal. Where's the other ones? Oh, there they are. Ow. Okay, well, they, they hurt whenever they hit you, though. I'll give them that. Ow. Okay, we may want to... We may actually want to start taking them out from a distance. <laughs> they, they actually do some pretty decent damage there. Next wave. What do we got? Who's coming out? More murder robots? Where are they at? Uh, okay, so a mix of murder robots and robots this time. The robots are not the robots. The pirates are really easy, actually. Robots are easy, too, as long as you attack them from a distance. If you can get them before they uh, catch their bearings, they're really easy to, to fight with melee as well. It's just one hit kill on them, like... Uh, goodbye. Hey, wave four complete. How many are there? Five? I'm guessing there's five. <clears throat> maybe. Eh, uh, maybe not. Oops. Well, honestly, I feel like might be decent here would be the shotgun, but... Hey, you can't just sneak up on someone's back like that. Not cool, bruh. Especially you. Stupid murder robots. Doing like five damage a hit. Too easy. Come on, what do you got? Give me something bigger. I want a challenge. Make me work for it, man. Victory. So now do we fight Pierre? Monsieur Pierre? <laughs> Robot pirate boots? Very cool. Oh, imagine. But have no fear. My less attractive stand double will battle in my stead. Francois? <laughs> Talk about cheating. Alright, so we want to get the topiary sprinkler. Put that out. And then, uh, Negatron Collider. Just use all the ammo for this, actually. Because it does a lot of damage. Alright, uh... Can I... Are these fungi? Yeah, let's get some fungi. I, I hear you want to have some fun, eh? Uh, fungi's out of ammo. Just bombs, then? Too easy, too easy, come on. I think this little robot's got any- oh, okay, well, I didn't know you were gonna pull out more robots. I thought it was still gonna be a one-on-one -on -one fight, at least. Not only a coward, 
I'm about to cheat too. I mean, if we just keep circling the outside, so far, so far, so good. I think we're, I think we're okay. I think maybe we got. Oh, we're out of ammo. Uh, ammo. <laughs> oh, that hurt. That hurt too. Uh, pistols out of ammo. What do we have? We have enforcer ammo. Uh, okay. We're taking hits, boys. We're taking a lot of hits. Okay, we're out of ammo on that too. What else? The Negatron Collider. We got ammo back for that. Deaded. Done. And dusted. Very easy. Come on. <laughs> Didn't almost die at all. No collision there. Oh, it's dematerializing as well. I mean, you just watched it. I thank you, kind sir. Eureka! <laughs> She's done it. Ratchet, can you hear me? Ratchet, can you hear me? Clank! Are you okay? Where are you? I saw that Lombax take you in- I am fine. In fact, I am with the Lombax now. Hey, I'm Rivet. What? Uh, Hi. Wow, this is- Go, wait, okay. I, I have to tell you something. Dr. Nefarious just crowned himself emperor of this dimension. He did what? No, 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 no. I've got my <laughs> own Nefarious. That's the thing. We've got to get him and us out of here, but- Without the Dimensionator... I think we have to build a new one. I met a prophet from Savali named Gary. He would know what to do. I'm only a few sectors away from there. I can go check it out. What can we do? Do you have the planet Blizzard Prime in this dimension? Yeah. Why? We can locate the phase quartz used to power the Dimensionator there. If I am right. We will be able to recreate the device in no time. Very cool. Guess we better get started then. I'm glad you're okay, buddy. You too, Ratchet. Be, be careful, careful out, out there. there. <laughs> wow. Another Lombax. Let's build this thing. Yeah, same person. Confirmed. <laughs> All right. That seems like an excellent point to call it a day. We have been streaming now for just shy of 12 hours. And we're coming up quickly on 1 o'clock. So I think we're going to call it here. Switch on over to the be like please wait screen like an actual Roomba and we're too poor for that we just got an we'll just uh we'll just turn that down we don't need that here right now man it's been fun though I'm happy I had the opportunity to do this my body was not ready to sit around for this long uh Mr. Noodle's been debated apparently <laughs> she just likes the weird turkey face <laughs> But thank you to Mr. Noodle for, for helping me with it, with the, with the food and drinks and stuff. I couldn't have done it without you, love. Thank you also to Mr. Noodle for donating towards this. Nate Alistair as well, if he's still around. Thank you for donating toward it, bud. And uh, everybody else as well that put some points in here. Rue, thank you so much for, for joining me for almost the entire day. I appreciate that so much. Thank you and for the subscription as well. And I know the Dorseman's off, but thank you if you end up seeing this for all of the gift subs and for subbing yourself. And uh, yeah, just thank you everybody for, for joining me and hanging out with me while I had some fun today. It was great. And I'm excited to play more of uh, Ratchet and Clank. A lot, uh, very excited to play more of it. And uh, we, just need, we just need to finish up Lord of the Rings and then we're gonna, then we're gonna do it. And uh, eventually we'll play through probably all of the games, but starting with the PS2 ones and working our way up from there, of course. And uh, one last time before I go, if anybody has any suggestions on games uh, that they think of, just hop in a stream sometime. Let me know. Shout it out on, on Twitter or, or whatever. Um, 
that they want me to to complete on stream. I'm always looking for other ones to do, and I have a list of my own that I want to do as well. Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter, Kingdom Hearts, God of War. Um, uh, I'm forgetting some. Inuyasha and Secret of the Cursed Mask. There's, there's more even than that. I just can't think of them all off the top of my head. But yeah. All right, yeah, I think uh, I think that's pretty much all I got. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh, just uh, sign it off, let it run for a minute or two while everybody filters out, and uh, thank you one last time. Have a good night, everybody. Bye bye. I mean, if you had enough of them, that might be a little scary. All right, how many more do we need? We have what sixty something, I think. We need either 70 or 80, so we gotta be getting close. I still don't understand the point of collecting the potions, but we're gonna do it anyways, because, uh -uh, maybe it'll do something. It was just one joke and then it just kind of went off. Like, <laughs> you mean just got like more and more ridiculous?